<laughs> the master of stupid ideas is back. It's, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh idea. You probably already saw the title. I don't know how I'm going to explain this in the title, but I went to Target and I noticed a little som som at the Target. And that something is these random little collectible Yu-Gi-Oh mini figures. And apparently it's a random thing you can get. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I just saw this at Target. You can get like Dark Magician, Exodia, Yugi, uh, you know, all these things. And what I'm going to do is depending on what I pull from this, I'm going to make a deck out of it and um, basically go into Master Duel ranked and uh, just see what I can do. I have no idea what I'm going to pull. Hopefully it's something that I already have a deck built for. And what I'm going to do is, as you can see, there's main characters and stuff. So like Joey, Kaiba, Yugi. If I get one of those characters, then I'll just build the deck themed off of them. Let's say, I don't know, 80% of the deck has to be cards they actually use in the series. And then the other ones I can throw in some random staples or something like that. I don't know. Um, but let's see what I get. I don't know which one to pick. I have a lot of these. So if you guys want me to do this again, let me know in the comment section below. And if this gets enough support, then I will come back and do more. All right, step one, figure out how to open this. I think I just like a bag of chips. Yeah, okay. All right, let's see what we get. Editor, dramatic music, hit it. Blue eyes, white dragon. Um, all right. I mean, it's an iconic thing to start with, I guess. Let's put it together really quick. All right. The blue eyes, white dragon is going to be the first thing that we pull. And uh, I'll have a dupe claw. So if I get the same thing next time, uh, then I will be able to switch it. But for now, the blue eyes, white dragon will be the first deck that we put together in Master Duel. And I think I have one laying around. Uh, so let's let's do it all right so first let's see if we have one laying around a random little blue eyes deck i want to say i had one at some point but i might have all right it's the very bottom deck oh no i have a blue eyes work in progress too let's see what i was working with here i guess and again it's not going to be optimal blue eyes i'm glad i don't have to sit here and actually just build one but uh we are going to be running a little bit of chaos max i'm probably just going to stick with this less thought process and i can just kind of jump into the duels and it's very blue eyes themed as you can see i'm even running cards that you might not see in an optimal blue eyes deck uh this isn't an optimal blue eyes deck but it's pure i'm gonna cook with it i'm gonna cook with it watch I, just watch just watch if you don't believe me just watch uh but first let me modify the extra deck really quick all right again not optimal but i think this is what we're gonna go with um uh if you guys have any ideas what i should call this series again we're just what are these called okay they, this doesn't have like a a name i don't know if you guys got a unique name um let me know unless i think of one between now and then all right let's go all right and we're on a rank up duel um i have no idea how this deck's gonna do i've been ranking up with i think egyptian god cards but it's more optimized for the current meta blue eyes deck not so much but who knows i just gotta believe in myself and my little pal blue eyes who is probably not gonna be on my shoulder for this entire video all right Starting with Pot of Prosperity, gonna banish three to six from the old extra dick. Let's see what type of cards they're working with. Oh no, Blue Wanderies. I might throw up in my mouth. Not an awful hand. We have Melody to search out a couple. Uh, Dictator of D, Ultimate Fusion. It's not terrible. All right, that is what's gonna get them going. I'm gonna say no to that with a little infinite impermanence. The answer is no. How you do that? Wait, wait, I, I just, I just, well, I understand this one, but how did you, I don't understand, but I, what I do know is I need to just get rid of this opponent as soon as humanly possible. That's not gonna be easy when you do that bullshit, is it? It was flu, I, I didn't stand a chance. Next duel. All right, we got unlucky in that first matchup. It was flu. Nobody loves flu. Nobody respects flu. And if you play flu, nobody loves you. All right, it's just a fact. And he played Dimension Shifter. There was truly not much I could do in that situation. However, I just have to believe that this will be a different outcome. Elemental Heroes. Oh, don't bring, just don't bring out Dark Law, man. Reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck. Send one of the fusion material. Excuse me? Am I being trolled? All right. I activate Dictator of D. I will send away a blue eyes white dragon to call forth Dictator of D. And then I will play my Melody of the Awakening Dragon. And I will send away my blue eyes white <clears throat> jet dragon. And honestly, I should just go El Clasico. I should go El Clasico on him. And then I'm going to play Melody of the Awakening Dragon. 
and I'm gonna send away White Stone of Ancients, and I'm gonna grab a jet along with an alternative White Dragon. If I could get rid of this Dictator of D, man, I could just finish him off with just my Neo Blue Eyed Ultimate White Dragon. Oh yeah, you know what? I think I still can. I play. Ultimate fusion to call forth my most powerful beast by sending away three blue eyes white dragons back to my deck. I call forth Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon! Royal finish, by the way, because I deserve it. Then I activate Dictator of D. And I will send away my alternative dragon to grab my blue eyes jet dragon onto the field. I'm 99% sure I'm playing against, I don't know what this is, but kind of embarrassing. Just to flex, AKA bring out my other jet. I guess I could have destroyed his card and got the same effect and more damage, but who cares? Come here. Oh, no, actually I'm not gonna activate that. No, I don't need to. I'm just going to hit you. And then I'm going to hit you. And then, my ultimate dragon will send you to the shadows! Easy. Easy. E well, it should be. I don't know why he just played that and then ended his turn. But nevertheless, up to gold too. I haven't been playing lately, all right? I got a diamond border around my name. I always got to remind people. Look at this diamond border. Wow. Gasp. And now they have the master rank or something like that. I could easily get master rank with just this deck if i wanted to i just don't want to right now who's my next opponent who's my target i'm gonna go second because i think uh i don't know blue eyes going second more likely for a nice little schnasty otk hot oh i can't say i love this hand but you know what i just have to believe in my deck uh i will simply top deck my chaos form ritual spell oh andy 720 720 so a 360 when you turn all the way around. So you're gonna turn all the way around twice and you're still gonna be looking around. You're still gonna be looking right at the man who's gonna send you to the Shadow Realm. Thoughts? Dark Magician versus Blue Eyes couldn't be more fitting. Although I must say, I have slight fear. This is my win con, really. I don't think Dark Magician can do anything against Chaos Max. Because even if he gets that uh, that silly little continuous spell out, it's not like he can target my Chaos Max. Do I stop this? I'm just gonna stop it. Uh, I'm just gonna stop it. I'm just gonna say no. Is this card on here the same card as his Might? Look at that. Look at that card. Now look at this. Are they the same? Ah, he has Tamayas, the United Dragon. All right. Well, if I knew you had that in your hand, I probably would have negated this instead. But I will live with my decision. Probably. Bruh. Amulet Dra- Bro. Bro, you scaring the hoes, bro. You really just went manga accurate on me, bro? Is this what they do in gold? Watch me lose to this, though, because look at my hand. <laughs> I need to draw any playable monster that can get destroyed so I can bring out a jet or something. Just just don't be ass. Just give me something, please. Please don't. Don't. Just, just you know what? I'll even. I'll even. I dropped it. I'll even draw with you, game. Okay, that'll work. Sorry, I didn't understand. I'm not talking to you! All right, I am simply going to play my Sage with Eyes of Blue and activate Sage of Eyes with Blue and go ahead and grab my... Hmm, why Stone of Ancients? And then I am simply <laughs> going to have the riveting turn where I turn this into a Linkoribo. Hopefully he bricked. Quite embarrassing to lose to this guy. It could happen. It could happen. I'd be depressed. What? 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 Oh, brother, apprentice, illusion, magician. Really? That's your big play? You son of a bitch. How dare you? Might as well. I'm gonna take some damage here. Unfortunately. But I will live with it. Ah! Wait, it was just a bluff? Ah! I sustained damage. There's a hole in my field. There's a snake in my boot. Oh, but you put that in the worst possible place, player. I play White Stone of Ancients. Then Sage with Eyes of Blue, sending away my White Stone of Ancients to the grave to special summon my beast. 
a true level 8 dragon, unlike your amulet dragon. Blue eyes, white dragon. And now I'm going to, uh, wait, read. I'm going to read first. But during damage calculation, if your other dark spellcaster battles. Yeah, good thing I read. Good thing I read now. I'm going to get rid of you first now. And guess what? Since I destroyed that, since I have a blue eyes on the field, I can bring out my jet. Wow. That's the sound of jet arriving to the field and uh, destroying you. Do I want to send it back to the extra deck? No, take this 100 damage. This card is destroyed. Target one spellcaster in your graveyard. Special summon that target. See, if I would have read that, I would have, uh, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have destroyed you. I would have sent you back, but I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player. I don't read. Reading is for the weak. Attack mode. You embarrassing everyone, bro. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to main two. And just in case you act up and get that little, uh, you know what? I can do both. I can do both. I'm going to build the overlay network and bring out drag lubrion yes lubrication yes then activate it i will detach my blue eyes white dragon so i have one in the grave and i will bring out my number 38 hope harbinger to negate any spells that you have and attach this as material <laughs> you could shred ain't no way brother you're playing thousand knives i mean i had i have no choice but to negate it I will negate it and only do that once. Uh, that could be bait, uh, but I think his deck just sucks. And I know uh, somewhere out there, there's a Dino Rhyme style screaming at the screen. Why did Dark Magician player do that? The Dark Magician player doesn't know what he's doing. What are you doing? One for one, you're one for done. <laughs> Got it. Watch this, partner. I will simply discard one card, allowing me to special summon. I'll just turn it into Striker Dragon to throw hands, I guess. But also, since this was sent away, I can go ahead and treat myself to a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Attack mode. Attack mode. Wait. Math? Not enough. Oh, wait, but I'll get a jet out. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. My brain is working. My brain is doing things because I need to see the new animation. I have to say it. I tribute both of these for my Blue Eyes White Dragon. Yes. And then I will destroy your dork magician with my harbinger. Yes. Activating jet in the graveyard, calling forth jet, and my math was off. Damn it. <laughs> That's fine. Attack directly. Attack directly. And I'll end my turn. Aww. Oh. And it looks like that's game. I'm not going to be, um, he's an innocent one. He's an innocent individual. Blue eyes, white dragon. One lightning! Ah! Damn, I found a whole ass comment on my arm is that? Again, if you guys have any ideas for this little um for this little series, uh let me know. And uh we'll definitely I don't know. I it'd be a fun series. Just get these until I get them all. I'll go second. The stone tablet series? Because it's on like a little tablet, right? A little supposed to be like a little tablet kaiba ass hand right here at least i have an ultimate fusion if i draw my third blue eyes i am literally kaiba i'm literally Ka and it's tier limits Woo! i'm only excited because if i can beat tier limits with this deck it will bring joy to my life this is post nerf tier limits so they got rid of the shufflers and stuff or there's only they only have one of each shuffler um, but we also have to look out for the, uh, is it bi-steel or Dino says B-steel and I feel like that's not wrong. I'll probably wait till his end board before I use Imperm because my thought process is he could actually help me with Kelbeck actually. Cause if he sends away like my white stone of ancients and plus ultimate fusion can use cards in the graveyard. So if he sends away the right cards for me, which really is just any other blue eyes, then I can bring out Neo blue eyes, ultimate drago. And I should be able to cook. Maybe I should stop Kit Kalos. Here's my fear. If he brings out the tier limits card, I forgot what it's called, but it's the one that prevents me from special summoning that would shit all over my strategy so regretfully i think i have to let this play out and save imperm for that situation specifically we got this in the graveyard so we're going to be able to search out that last that last blue eyes so we'll have all three in hand rue close this one that is 
what I've been waiting for. That's what we're going to imperm next turn. All right, activate this. So it's actually best, or it actually worked out well that uh, we're going to be searching out this blue eyes, unless he gets rid of it right now. Okay, this is actually going to work out because Whitestone of Ancients is going to force him to use his rule close effect at least once. All right, Kalido Heart, Kaleidoscope Heart. Grab my Blue Eyes White Dragon. And we got all three. Oh, you couldn't couldn't have scripted it better. Kaibo would be salivating at the mouth looking at this. Special summon. This card is reduced by the level of that targeted monster. Place this card on bottom of the middle of the field. Okay. Oh, it's a tuner as well. Who's the level 11 synchro? Oh, not you! Not you, man! While your life points are less than or equal to your opponent's, Synchro card is unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. That is going to be tough to deal with. We're gonna activate this nevertheless. See if he activates real close. Sure does. The way it works is he sends it away and then it just comes back, right? And if you do destroy it, send one tier limits card. Wait, what? You can negate the activation, which he did. And if you do destroy it, then send one tier limits card from your hand or face up, why Why did he not send one away? Is it because it wasn't destroyed? Somebody clue me in. Ooh, hold on. All right, first we gotta force him into some stuff, right? I gotta do mental gymnastics, man. All right, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just see what happens here. I'm gonna do this, see what he does. Basically, I want him to run out of things to do. All right, I'm gonna lose 500 attack. And then this thing gains attack, right? So this thing is gonna be a beast. Uh, and I and it's unaffected too. I have no idea how I'm gonna get over that. Let's grab this. All right, and since that was sent away, now this can return Sage with eyes of blue to my hand, right? That's fine. So this effect is done. We don't have to worry about this effect anymore. Now we're watching out for this one who can negate the activation of a special summon or whatever. So we're gonna imprim this in. Basically, things are going according to plan for the most part now. I expected my field to get empty again, which will allow me to use Imperm to negate you. I don't know what I'm gonna do about you yet. Wait, it's only unaffected by opponent's activated effects and Dragos to Paleo. Ooh, it doesn't get much worse than this, boys! Uh -huh. Wait, Ultimate Fusion pops cards too. I have to set? Oh, okay, we're locked into this now because I can't unset it. All right, then we're gonna set. And we're gonna set, and we're just gonna end right there. This was risky, but I didn't think I have a bloody choice, do I? Does this have to be main phase? During the main phase, okay. Now is the time, ultimate fusion. Okay. Then we negate that. I don't think this is gonna work, man. I don't think this is gonna work. All right, then we also got that row. We bring out... <laughs> By throwing three of my blue eyes away, I call forth Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon An Ultimate Fusion. Wait, Ultimate Fusion? Use from the field. Okay, I didn't read the from the field part. Damn, that card would be really good if it wasn't from the field. I don't mind getting that counter right now. Uh, does this count as an activated effect? Ultimate creature of destruction. I can't be destroyed by battle. And you're destroyed! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, it's not an activated effect. My strategy, impeccable. Although he can just get rid of me next turn <laughs> with Kaleido Heart. If he has anything that he can, he can't use this though. He can't send anything away to activate that. Hold up, hold up. Did we just game him straight to battle? Straight to battle, destroy Dragostapalia. What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? It's just Mudora, it's just Mudora. That's fine, because it goes away once you're destroyed, right? Or the counter doesn't go away, but I'm not negated anymore. Yes, go through, go through, activate. Send away. I can attack up to three times, player. Player, player. Three attacks. With Neo Boys Ultimate Dragon, Royal Finish, send him to the shadows! Yes! Woo! They was doubting me! They, you, you were doubting me. Not you, not you in the back, but you, you right there.
Expert gaming. It doesn't matter the deck. I can I can have a fourth rate deck, but I'm still a first rate duelist. You can hand me give me a random card. You can hand me a be gone knife, but I'm still a first rate duelist. You can hand me a pinch hopper, but I'm still a first rate duelist. Never forget, if I lose, it's because my deck sucked, but I'm still a first rate duelist. Stay tuned for the next one, and uh, let's see what we pull. Blue eyes, this one. The Stone Tablet series, which I still don't have an official name for, but I, I kind of like the sound of that. Let me know what you guys think. I got a bunch of these little mini figures, and it could have any of these random staples or characters. And essentially, what I'll do, this is what I'm, this is what I'm dreading right here. The Gee, the Dark Clown. I, I'll figure something out for that if we pull it. But essentially, what we're doing in this series is whatever I pull from of these random mini figures, I have to make a deck using that archetype as pure as possible if it's one of these characters i can only i don't know let's say 80 percent of the deck has to be cards that they actually used in the anime and or manga or whatever last time we actually got blue eyes and uh it was it, it, it was a show if you didn't see that episode go watch it uh, of course that's the first one we get we do have a dupe clause so if i get blue eyes again we don't have to do it but let's see Actually, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, um, this one was sealed by Beerus. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Easy. It's still not open. Um, <clears throat> oh. Open this the way that the pioneers intended. <gasps> There we go. All right, there we go. Okay, okay. Uh, we have it open. Now let's see what our next thing is in the stone tablet series. The stone tablet that we have is Jinzo. <laughs> Jinzo? No! I'm not a Jinzo hater, but damn. All right, let's just hope we run into <laughs> Labyrinth or something like that, or, uh, you know, some sort of floodgate deck, but nevertheless. Our next one is gonna be Jinzo. So we gotta build a Jinzo deck. This guy's kinda ugly, I'm not gonna lie. Jinzo, I guess. <laughs> Me am robot. Me was designed by Caveman, apparently. All right, um, Jinzo is weird. I didn't already have a Jinzo deck laying around, so I had to throw this together. Jinzo's whole gimmick is to shut down traps. Nobody's really playing traps. Uh, and why do I have traps in a Jinzo deck, you ask? Because Jinzo's weirdly designed. For some reason, to bring out Jinzo the Machine Menace, I have to be playing traps. Or I guess my opponent could, but say my opponent's not playing any traps. The reason I threw some traps in is so I have some way to bring Jinzo the Machine Menace out because he can only be special summoned if there's a trap in my graveyard, my opponent's graveyard, or somewhere on the field. So in case they're not, I had to bring this. Our backup plan is Despacito Barrel Dragon and uh, a random dark machine monster that I found when I just filtered dark machines. This guy, and we live in a tier dominated world. So if I run into tier limits, this is my, this is my out. This is my out. And then yeah, some generic Jinzo support. A lot of our win cons is in the extra deck to bring out Zeus and stuff like that. So uh, <laughs> I don't feel like explaining anymore. So I'm just gonna go in. Wow. What I hope for sometime in this video, I simply want to run into a deck that utilizes a bunch of traps. Run into a deck that is just like thirsty to use traps. Elf like someone who has like floodgates, you know? That would bring joy to my soul. This is not a terrible hand. Not a terrible. I guess they had a terrible hand. All right, dubs, big dubs. Jinzo already getting dubs, wow. Editor, turn off the green screen effect so they can look at Jinzo in all of his glory. Look at him, look at him. He about to show up and whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I dropped it. Damn, part of me wishes I had my uh, anti-tier card. Oh wait. Wait, you're not you're not a normal tier player. You're you're a weirdo. Add a tier hand. Then if sanctuary in the sanctuary in the sky. What are you up to? Or maybe you are a bot. Are you a self-destructor? What are you? What are you? All right, I don't I don't know what's going on. I don't know I don't know what our opponent is cooking up, but cooking up something. In the wind channeler. My turn, Deru. Now, if you were just playing vanilla tier, this would be the out to anything that you have to do. So I'm just gonna test this out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play this straight up and see if it just stops everything you do. 
Jin's all the machine menace. Yeah. Is that a little bit of this? And uh, I am simply going to punch you. What are your thoughts? Think. Yeah. Can't send anything away, partner. I'm going to set this here in case you are able to activate that at some point. Set this here and end my turn. Look at him. Play any tier card you want. Cards cannot be sent from the deck to the graveyard. Now what will you do? Light Veil. Not activate any spells. Are you just going to give it to one of my cards to admit defeat? Or are you a self-destruct deck? What are you... You're not even good at being a self-destruct deck. What? What is your goal? All right. This isn't necessary at all. I'm just going to play Law of the Cosmos. What is your response? Would you like to set any trap you'd like so I can play Jinzo or forever hold your peace? Ha! Branded beast. More like branded bitch. Oh! Come forth, Jinzo. Long neck have an ass. Psychic bounder. Yes. Yes. And I will simply take cyber energy shock for no reason other than to flex. Cyber energy shock. I'm going to destroy this. And then I'm going to gain 600 attack. What is your response? Nothing? Cool. Mink? Um... Huh? Yeah, that's fine. Kind of scared me. Jinzo! With your long neck having ass! Ah! We got kind of lucky. I don't... I have no idea what my opponent was trying to... I know some people are going to ask. Let's look. What the... What is this? This was just a meme deck. All right. I don't like when I win the coin toss because then I feel the pressure of having to decide what's the right move. I'm going to go second. Give me an imperm. Ooh, two imperms. Two imperms, but <laughs> nothing else. Oh, no. Incantation. Ritual spell. Ooh, you might have to take that 2,500. You might have to take that 2,500 if I prevent you from getting your ritual spell, partner. Whoa, 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 whoa. Flabbing it. Nice. You got a lot of things, but like, what, what, what now? What if I said no to this one, too? What if I said I don't want you to ritual summon, bro? <laughs> Double imperm is kind of funny. If he already has a ritual spell in his hand, I wasted the... Oh, he doesn't. And I hope that's a trap. Yeah! Yeah, I read. I read that you'd take some damage if I didn't let you ritual summon. All right. Unfortunately, this is still kind of ass. I'm going to go ahead and play Law of the Cosmos. And hope you agree to my deal. Shake my hand. You can set any trap you want. Mill out your deck. Set any trap you want. Just allow me... Okay, so if you do that, then you're probably going to let me bring Jinzo out. You know what? I respect it. And if you don't allow me to bring Jinzo out, you're a dummy and I hate you. Thoughts? Oh, bringing out evenly matched. Now, I might save Cyber Energy Shock for the negate. Because what happens is if I destroy a trap with Cyber Energy Shock, I can negate a monster's effect. So... I think. Do either of you have graveyard effects? He has like a quick play spell or some hand trap in the hand. I don't know, but we're just going to set. We're going to set. We're going to set. Jinzo, long neck, have an ass. Carry me to victory. I'm not really worried about evenly matched. Uh, as long as he has this many cards on the field. Who the hell is you? Like one monster on the field, destroy it. Wait, you're destroying yourself? What? Then if it was a light monster, both players send as many cards as possible from their extra deck to the graveyard, but not more than the original. Okay. You're trying to devastate my extra deck. If I destroy it first, then it won't work. I think that's my best bet. I could destroy trap and negate its effect, but then he could just destroy me. So I think I'm just going to destroy you before you could destroy yourself and hope that was the right play. There we go. That seemed to have been the right move so far, but let's see what else OMG Dip can do. I think my opponent just has another Max C in their hand. I'm willing to bet. I'm not actually willing to bet. Don't believe his lies. I'm his. All right. Wait, like his as in me. All right. Psychic Bounder. Search out any Jinzo Speller Trap 
I'm going to go ahead and take mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, maybe another one of these. Maybe maybe one of those. Maybe bringing out Psychic Wave. Now let me think. Let me think. Let me think. No, that 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 that's not that's not the right move. All right, a bit of a mistake. No, Nightmare Phoenix to destroy that. And then I could just bring Jinzo back with Call of the Haunted, but I'd have to do it in the right order. I'd have to... All right, let's... All right, this should be enough damage, I think. All right, hear me out. Why would I get rid of Jinzo? Bringing out Nightmare Phoenix. I don't know what this card is. I know the other one's evenly matched. Forbidden Droplet. Now I'm going to Call of the Haunted and bring back Psychic Bounder first right here and then my other call of the haunted to bring out jinzo back onto the field giving me enough d d d d enough damage to send you to the shadows jinzo long neck ass punch jinzo kind of cooking kind of cooking i need a true challenge and by true challenge, I actually want the opposite of that because I want to run into Eldlick or Labyrinth and ruin their day. I just want to ruin one of their days. All right. Starting hand, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Sword Soul. Oh, zoinks. Is it going to be the generic Baron de Flore Grandmaster end board? Or are you going to do something that, I don't know, impresses somebody out there? Nope, just the standard copy and paste combo. He might bring out the, uh, whatever the level 10 Sword Soul is. The one that banishes and gets really strong. Whatever is, I forgot the name, bro. You think I'm afraid of a little Chen Ying? Because I am. Is this once per turn? Once per turn. Okay, so play a Lure of Darkness first. All right, and I'm going to Banish this because I have two. I'm going to Banish that. All right, since I have nothing on the field, this thing doesn't have anything to banish. How do I want to go about this? I think I have to do Law of the Cosmos first. My whole strategy is going to be contingent on whether or not he decides to set a card or not. I hope he sets a card. But let me bring out Jinzo. Damn it. All right. Unfortunately, he's not extremely stupid. All right, I'm going to just go ahead and add probably Machine Menace to the hand. All right, I'm just gonna play Psychic Bounder. Activate. He might negate me. I have to activate this while I control a machine. All right, well, if he's 100% gonna banish Psychic Bounder, I might as well do this now. I'll send this. Because I have to play this before he banishes. Okay. I say okay, like, like, I'm good. I'm not, though. I think we just lose this one. Yep, I am out. Goodbye, you win. Tear Lament. Tear Lament. Oh, Kelbeck. Uh-oh. Uh, the only deck that I would like to go first against is probably Tear Lament. Get Kalos! We have a pretty good starting... Well... Okay, maybe not pretty... It's meh. We got it. We got a starting. We have a starting hand. And is that a trap you just grabbed? Knowing I could be playing Jinzo. They limited shufflers to one each. And of course, both shufflers are in the graveyard. All right. Well, this is like full combo. Everything's getting thrown away. Let's uh just fast forward to the end of this turn. <laughs> ain't even looking at my graveyard you suck you're bad at the game you should have you should have stopped me should have stopped me now i'm gonna cook you now i'm gonna cook you and you're gonna cry yep all right i finally get a turn get i have everything that i need first before you start shuffling my stuff i activate psychic wave in the grave i can go ahead and return one of these to my hand i think i'm gonna return this oh wait you could shuffle it well well anyway 
I will still attempt it. And then you can use your last shuffler. Oh, no, you didn't stop me. I think I'm actually just going to send away this other Jinzo Jector since I have two in my hand. Thank you. I'm just going to special summon Psychic Mega Cyber. And I could just shut down his extra deck right now. Because the way Predaplant Dragostepalia works is it negates activated effects. Jinzo doesn't activate an effect. He is just like a mandatory effect. So I'm going to play this. Shut down that back row. I believe all it's asking for is to activate Predaplant Dragostepalia. But if I destroy his trap... I believe he gets an effect for it. I'm going to go ahead and play Heavy Metal Raiders. First time a Dark Machine would be destroyed by battle, it's not. We do have a bit of a problem. All right, I need you to use an effect of some sort so I can use Triple Tactics. I'm going to use Cyber Energy Shock. I'm actually going to just pop this. The reason for that is I know it's going to come back. I'm not a fool. I know it's going to come back because it was destroyed by card effect. Probably thinks I'm stupid, but really, I needed him to activate a monster effect so I could use Triple Tactics Talent. And I think I'm just going to take control of his card. Or I could draw two, but I don't know what I would draw that kind of gets me out of this. I'll take control. All right. I guess I'm just going to borrow this so we can clear the board. Put it here. Get rid of that. Use this to attack Sprite Elf. Get rid of that. Heavy Metal Raiders. Special Sama. I actually forgot about this effect. Get a little direct attack here. Now, I could just Link Summon using his card so he doesn't get it back. And actually, believe it or not, I'm not going to destroy this back row because he gets graveyard effects. I know this one's a trap. I I'm not going to destroy anything. All right. Now, this isn't an unbeatable board. I mean, by any means. But it's something. All right, there's his last shuffler. Both shufflers are gone. Limited to one. Put you shuffle back into my deck, you little jerk. Now you're gonna bi-steal ball drake me and banish my Jinzo. You son of a bitch. I promise I'll make you regret this. Oh, you read my card? Ah, oh, I'm sick of you for reading, bro. Who do you think you are? You think you're better than me for reading? Dead -o. Ooh, Allure of Darkness. I play Allure of Darkness. I draw two. And then... The niche one. <laughs> Cyber Energy Shock. I want to destroy this because Jinzo can go 800 stronger. And if I destroy this, this idiot can just come out of the graveyard again, right? Oh, okay. No, this doesn't do anything in the graveyard. I'll just get rid of you. Goodbye. Now I will punch you. Response. I end my turn. And we have the meanest backup plan in the wild, wild west with Desperado Bero Drago. Even if Jinzo does get destroyed, the only thing that absolutely cooks me right now is Tier Lament's Kaleido Heart. The one that can shuffle Jinzo back into the deck. Ooh, face down defense mode. You love to see it. You love to see it. You love to see the fear. Ooh, shut down. All right, this game should be over. Dimension Fortress Weapon. Cards cannot be sent from the deck to the graveyard. Now what? I think you have a Forbidden Droplet. I think this face down might be Forbidden Droplet. Okay. Heavy Metal Raiders. Special Summon. Battle or Despacito Dragon. Attack. And you lose. Dimension Fortress Weapon! Destroy. All in all, we did pretty good. The Stone Tablet series continues. If you're unfamiliar with the series, pretty much we pull one of these staples and then we have to build a deck and go into ranked with whatever staple we pull. In the first episode, we had Blue Eyes White Dragon. The second episode, we had Jinzo, the Machine Menace. Now we have to see which minifigure we're gonna pull next. And then we have to build the deck with whatever we get. So, Learned, I've learned from last time, and I'm just going to open it the correct way to open it. <sighs> right, TA. Opening it the way it was intended to be opened. Real sword, real sword. People, sometimes people see that and they're like, oh, it's just a fake sword. No. You could kill someone. All right. The next stone tablet from the minifigures. 
is... Ah, oh, no! Joey Wheeler. I was, uh... Dreading the day that we ran into a character. Mainly because the character duels are gonna be much more difficult than, uh... <laughs> than just the archetype specific thing. All right, so I wasn't really sure how I was gonna go about doing characters, but here's what I'm thinking for the character specific uh, pulls that I get. Each character specific deck has to include at least three staple monsters that the character use in the actual show or manga. And then 80% of the deck has to be support for those three staples, depending on which staples that I pick. So for example, for Joey, I can't just make a full on red eyes deck and then call it a Joey deck. I have to have like red eyes, and then some red eye support, but I also have to have two other staples that he's used, such as like Time Wizard and then some Time Wizard support and like Jinzo with some Jinzo support, which might end up being what I do. And 80% of a 40 card deck is 32 cards. So that means at least 32 cards would have to just be support for those three things. And it has to be at least three things. The only exception to that 80% support rule that I have in place is if I add a card that Joey actually used in the show. So if I want to throw in a card like Graceful Dice, for whatever reason, I probably won't, then that still applies to that 80%. So basically 80% is either support for one of those three monster archetypes, or it can be a card that Joey actually used if it's not within those archetypes. I don't really know what I'm gonna do for Joey uh, in terms of building this deck. What we're gonna make as good of a Joey deck as we can under these restrictions and see if we can get any wins in ranked as Joey Wheeler. All right, this is the Joey Wheeler deck. Again, the rule is at least 80% of this deck is comprised of either a card Joey used or support for one of Joey's staples. So the way I classify support for one of Joey's staples is like for red eyes, as long as it has the word red eyes in it, like red eyes, dark darkness, I count this as a Joey card. And then obviously we have like Jinzo, support for Jinzo with Jinzo the Machine Menace. Like these all count, so in total, 44 cards in this deck, 35 of these cards are indeed uh, Joey certified. We even have cards like Grave Robber in here. Scapegoat, obviously a classic. I was so happy to find out that he actually used Raigeki. Guilford the Lightning, this is very Joey-esque. We even have this ritual card. But the main idea with this deck is obviously gonna be in our extra deck. We have Red Eyes support, we have like Red Eyes fusion. We bring out Red Eyes Slash Dragon. When I attack with Red Eyes Slash, I can attach Immortal Phoenix gear free to it as an equip spell. So if it does happen to get destroyed, if Red Eye Slash gets destroyed, we can set, uh, special summon this guy. He's pretty cool in his own right. And then we also have some Infernoble cards that uh, basically can be used as equip spells. And then they give different effects depending on which one I attach. So this was kind of the best concept I could think of. And then we have some Gemini support because obviously we have a couple Gemini cards like Red Eye's Black Flare. Let's see what we can do. We're in Platinum. <laughs> Oh, being platinum four was nice while it lasted. We actually climbed to this with Jinzo. I think I'm gonna go second. All right, I only threw two of these in, but of course I have both in my starting hand. This is support for my single Gemini card. All right, we got a shuffler and that's it. That's his whole turn. All right, let's just draw a level, a level four or lower monster. No, but we can get one. We can get one though. All right, so let's start with Red Eyes Insight. I can send a red eyes card to the grave and then I'm just gonna send vanilla red eyes away. Then I can add a red eyes spell or trap from my deck. I'm just gonna grab red eyes fusion. I think that's the best play here. I gotta be careful because if I wanna use red eyes fusion, I can't summon this turn. I can only set. So I think I'm just gonna activate red eyes fusion and I think we're gonna send away immortal Phoenix gear freed along with another red eyes. The red eyes slash dragon. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go into Baitel. I'm pretty sure what's gonna happen is I'm gonna declare an attack, activate the effect, and then he's gonna shuffle this back before I can actually do it. And I'm kinda, oh, he's allowing it. Okay, attach that. And then main phase two, you don't have evenly matched. It's end of battle phase and he can activate something. I think he probably has evenly matched. I need to be careful. All right, I'm just gonna play this in case he has evenly matched. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm kinda scared of that now. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. All right, I'm going to activate this now. Special summon a Gemini. So we can bring out our Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon. All right, and he's playing by Steel. So I'm cooked. Nice. 
is bad. All right. Goodbye. We had a good run, didn't we? Oh, this isn't good. And Zeus. I'm supposed to beat Zeus with Joey Wheeler. <laughs> Grave proper. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me cook, let me cook. One for one. Send away Marauding Captain. All right, and we're just gonna... Copycat. I could bring out Copycat with this. Oh my god. Or should I just... Uh, I'm gonna do the smart play. All right, bring out Black Metal Dragon. And we're just gonna turn that into Striker Drago. That's gonna activate Black Metal Dragon in the grave. And I'm gonna grab my Red Eyes Darkness. All right, we're gonna force Zeus to use its effects. We're gonna banish this. Gonna bring this fella out. Zeus has to use his effect, I'm sure. Oh, no, he could just shuffle whatever I target. We're forcing something, so that's fine. Oh, no, because it doesn't target. Yeah, you have to use it now. So you're just going to have to hit... Damn, I have exactly three dragons in my graveyard, so he can stop this. Oh, why'd you hit Marauding Captain? That was a misplay. I mean, I guess, again, he could just Zeus, but... Now I could just bring out my Black Flare. Black Flare Drago. Force the Zeus activation. Luckily, that gets rid of his back row, too. It was evenly matched. Now I'm just going to set two <laughs> and end my turn. The thing about Grave Robber is I can't activate it during my opponent's turn. Oh, he's about to be tight. He's about to be tight. <laughs> None of your attacks is going to hit me with Scapegoat. <laughs> I don't know what accent that was. Scapegoat. 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 A scapegoat. I'm gonna kick your keister. Why that one specifically? Scapegoat, I need you to carry me. Oh, yes. Oh, this is gonna be so funny. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's cook, let's cook, let's cook. I gotta do it for the bit, man. I gotta do it for the bit. I'm gonna activate Grave Robber. I'm gonna take your Hoppy's Feather Duster. <laughs> Let me see this. Let me get that. Let me hold this. Let me hold on to that. Let me hold on to that for you. God, this does 2K damage if I use it, though. I'm gonna use it. Oh, brother, leave me alone, man. 2k damage for no reason, then. That's fine. Oh, wait, that helps Zeus. Okay, he gets one material. As long as he doesn't have two, uh, it's whatever. All right, now we're going to turn one of these sheep tokens into Link Karibo. Because a lot of our other Link cards require at least one effect monster. We could go into Blue Flame Swordsman. Yeah, so let's go Link Karibo and Sheep Token to bring out my <laughs> ferocious flame swordsman. I think I said blue last time. All right, and then I'm going to bring out my Infernoble Knight Malogus. We link climbing, baby. Okay, I'm going to have to go access code, man. Nightmare Unicorn. Y'all remember when Joey Wheeler played access code talker? Access code talker. You know what? Joey would play him. I, I think Joey would, you know, modern day probably run a little access code. All right, let's just get rid of Zeus all together. Uh, I'm going to pop... Uh, what do I banish here? I'm going to banish you. Pop. I'm going to kick your keister. Ain't no way I win with this shit. Please break. Please break. Yes, yes. We won with the Joey deck. We used Grave Robber and won a duel. That is crazy. That <laughs> Hold up. Let me find out. I'm gonna kick your keister. <laughs> All right, let's go second again. Luckily, scapegoat, scapegoat is great for link climbing, man. So I knew my backup plan would have to be in the extra deck. Um, we have Divine Knight Ish 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 Zark, who's a level six, but I mean it's not a terrible effect. And this card is actually pretty sick if I get him out. We just banish one equip spell. We can special summon this guy. And then uh when he attacks, I can equip a face-up monster on the field to this card. So Dogmatica. Can we talk about how it's like 700 cards who look exactly like this card right here? Oh, this card's annoying. I know what you're bringing out. You're bringing out this little 4K beat stick. opponent's deck wait what what are you doing send one monster from it to the graveyard probably looking at my extra deck like what the fuck is this hey bro leave this alone looks like i only have one choice so i gotta send seven cards away all right what's least likely to come out i'm gonna send this away 
I'm gonna send this away. I'm gonna send one of these away. Anything that I have dupes of, I don't really, you know, I can, I can get it back. And then honestly, I could send Link Rebo away because I could just summon it from the graveyard. I could send this away because I could just banish it from the graveyard to bring out Immortal Phoenix Gear Freed. Damn, but I gotta send one more thing away. Probably you, sorry. Now he really confused. Like Divide Knight Ish Zark. Oh no, I just I, I exposed myself with this, bro. He he gonna learn that I'm really just playing a Joey deck. Alright, see what we can do. Hello. Ooh, top deck scapegoat. You'd love to see it. As long as I don't use extra deck stuff, I think I'm okay. I don't know what his back row is, but let's see if he's able to play something in his back row. I'm just gonna play this first. Okay, whatever he has, he can play. It might be Dogmatica Punishment. I'm worried if I play something from the extra deck, he can do something, because that's usually what Dogmatica does. It's like anti-extra deck. I'm just gonna go for it. Let's see what happens. Strike a Dragon. Activate Black Metal Dragon in the grave. Grab Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Activate Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Activate. Grab this. It's not activating anything. Not yet, at least. Now I could Link Climb. I could go into this for no reason. I don't think I'm going to. All right, I'm just going to activate Black Metal Dragon. I'm going to equip it to this. Yeah, it's like that. It's really like that. All right, he can activate something, and that's what's driving me crazy. I'm just going to bring it out. I'm just going to bring this out. Will I regret it? Maybe. Uh, we're going to banish this from the grave to bring out the Immortal Phoenix Geofreed. I'm going to kick you, Keista. All right, so let's just attack this. Activate the effect. I would like to have this card. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way, Joey, out you're cooking. Ain't no way, Joey, out you're cooking. And I'm not going to go anything extra deck. I'm just going to set this and end my turn. There's no way. There's no way I'm just going to like win with this deck. Bro, I titled my deck this isn't going to go well because I was 1000% positive. There's no god. There's no way. There is no way that this is happening. <laughs> what the? Oh, this looks rigged. I got to lose at least one, bro. This looks everyone in the comment section. I'm going to kick your keys to. I got to have one brick hand, bro. I got to have like one hand that And again, it's not like I want to lose, but there we go. This this isn't as good of a hand. We got Guilford the Lightning, you know what I mean? If I tribute three cards to tribute summon, I can destroy all my opponent's monsters. You better watch out, partner. But guess what? You can't tribute Scapegoat, so keep that in mind. Ah, uh, Trap Heavy deck. I don't think I beat Traps. Unless I do have a singular Jinzo in this deck. If I can pull my singular J Wait, this just destroys monsters, right? Ah, oh, I wish it destroyed all cards. Let's start with Red Eyes Insight. Red Eyes Fusion. I don't want to throw away cards in my hand necessarily. I'd rather mill out my deck. However, but I do think this is the best card to have in the graveyard so I can get it back. So I'm going to send this away along with the Red Eyes. Bring out Red Eyes Slash Dragon. All right, I'm just going to activate Black Metal Dragon right away. It negates, but doesn't destroy, right? Yeah, okay. I could just activate it again, I'm pretty sure. You think I'm scared of Lord of the Heavenly Prison? Ah, beat yo. I'm going to kick your keista. I only put one Jinzo in this deck because last week, I don't want to make it like super Jinzo themed because I already played like a bunch of Jinzo. I'll just activate this again. 34 hundo. Activate this effect. Grab Immortal Phoenix Gear Freed. Magic Cylinder. That's fine because we can simply activate this. Send Black Metal away. To negate the effect no uh i won't be able to kill this thing now but i do get to search out a card i think i might just grab return of the red eyes to be honest Ooh. skill drain could be annoying oh so you're just a straight burn deck except you're a dumbass <laughs> oh what's good with you oh okay that's fine why didn't you attack with this one? Hello? I think I'm just going to activate this now. And let's bring out my Red Eyes Black Dragon. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to kick your keister. Deru. How do I get over this guy? I'm trying to look into my extra deck. I have access code, but access code can't get any stronger because of skill drain. I need something that I can maybe activate in the graveyard. I think right now it might be best to just be patient. All right, let's go defense mode. Defense mode. This red eye slash. Just bring another one of these out. And as long as we just keep 
these guys on the field, we should be able to just, I don't know, hold out. Again, I, I just have to hold out until I can draw Jinzo. I draw Jinzo, I think that just turns off skill drain. Now this guy might have like a lava golem type thing, but I'm, I am Joey Wheeler. I'm gonna kick you, Kista. Ride Geki. <laughs> he could have Mirror Force. But if he does, I have a, uh, I have backup plans. We're good. We're good. I'm gonna go for the damage. I'm gonna go for the win. No point. He does have a Mirror Force. Okay, you've made your point. Return of the Dragon Lords. Spring slash back, put in defense mode. All right, I'm 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 I'm, I'm gonna be watching out for that from now on. Let's bring another one of these back. Back to defense mode we go. <laughs> oh, the only thing that's scary is I know this little idiot can just do effect damage. I know he's got a burn deck, bro. He's one lava golem away. Maybe I shouldn't have played these. No, lava golem won't have its effect. Okay, okay. Skill drain. Skill drain. I need Jinzo. Honestly, I might not ever attack until I see Jinzo. Jinzo! Come on, Jinzo. All right, we can mill out the deck and hunt for Jinzo. All right, let's send away a one of these. I could bring this for the meme, but I think the smart play is to just continue to mill out my deck as much as I possibly can. So let's go Red Eyes Fusion, bring out another Red Eyes slash Dragon. I'm one magic cylinder away from like just getting cooked. But then again, every turn that I wait, he could draw a magic cylinder. Like that might not be magic cylinder at all. Come on. Jinzo, please. Jinzo, 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 Jinzo. Stop playing. You play too much. I don't even know if Jinzo will work. Will Jinzo turn off skill drain or will Jinzo just... Okay, that's fine. I figured you had that, but you have skill drain in play. Unless you can get rid of skill drain. In which case, I'll throw up. Okay. Now, in case he can get rid of that skill drain, I think it's best if I just get rid of these now. Then I'm going to set scapegoat and end my turn really i can't do anything i can't do anything until i get jinzo man i only have one watch it be the last card of my deck bro so if it comes down to it he will win okay it's time to find out it's time to find out i tribute a monster for jinzo oh his effect is negated oh no oh no oh no 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 oh no oh no his effects are negated fuck fuck this card i needed this before okay well now i know i have one other out jinzo the machine menace i think he tributes himself to activate his effect i am gonna bring out copycat the back gets negated and i'm just gonna turn him into link karibo because link karibo's effect will at least work i guess we'll mill out the deck a little more i am just giving him lava golem fodder but it's not like lava golem does anything anyway send away time wizard won't be able to get used so let's bring out infernoble knight defense mode I'm sure he has three yep i could attack with low attack monsters Oh, you little bitch. Man, this doesn't do anything right now. I have nothing to get over his back row, man. It's could, this could be bait. I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Yep. Okay. All right. Now I'm even more nervous because if I attack with Black Metal Dragon, my whole thought process was Magic Cylinder wouldn't kill me, but now it would. I have an idea. Damn, I should have done this one. Oh, I actually had the out. I'm just thinking about it. If I bring out access code and I banish access code for cost, then I destroy skill drain. And then I just need a way to get Jinzo back. I could bring this out. I'll bring it out just to say I did it. Red Eyes Transmigration. Come on, man. The most anticlimactic way for me to win. Why? You had more cards in your deck. <sighs> well, it went well. Oh! oh, we're doing more of this series. The Stone Tablet!
Blitz series, that's what series. What is that? I'm glad you asked. Basically, for the last three weeks, I've been pulling one of these figures. We had Blue Eyes, then we had Jinzo, and last week we had Joey Wheeler. And essentially, what I have to do is whoever I pull, I have to build a deck with the character or staple card that I pull. So I had to do a Blue Eyes deck, and I had to do a Jinzo deck, and then I did a Joey Wheeler deck, and uh, it's been a lot of fun if you haven't been keeping up with the Stone Tablet series. So I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. One million subs is my goal. Are we there yet? Ha <laughs> ha. I'm going to open this up the only way that they are meant to be opened, and that is with a Master Sword. Uh, it is a real sword. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Uh huh. Let's see what our next pull is. Hopefully it's not a do. And I see who we got. I see who we got. Why does he look? Is he supposed to look like this? Ain't no way. <laughs> Hold on. First, I would like you to look at this picture of Dark Magician. Okay, look at it closely. This is how you know this ain't sponsored because they would not want me to pose this. What in the Crayola Crayon bullshit is this? <laughs> what is this, man? I'm so disappointed. What? Like, should I be happy that I got probably the most rare dark magician? Like, what is this? They, they didn't even co color bro in, man. Well, nevertheless, now we have to make a dark magician deck. And no, before you guys say like, oh, you now he's just going to make a pure dark magician. No, this is not going to be optimal dark magician. This is going to be as pure as possible uh with maybe some other you know some unique caveats here and there but for the most part i'm gonna try to keep this as pure dark magician as possible no like outside staples uh because dark magician has enough support to kind of pull its own weight other than maybe the extra deck i might have some extra stuff but for the most part we're gonna keep this dark magician and let's see what i can come up with without looking up anything that's the key word it's all just off the top of the cranium the dark magician deck is here and it's pure pure dark magician so you enthusiasts of dark magician who are like that's not optimal you're not supposed to do that shut up because you're gonna watch as i play magician navigation you're gonna watch as i play destined rivals bringing eyes to the unrepresented forgotten dark magician support cards that is what i'm here to do my whole deck is all dark magician support outside of super polymerization but super polymerization could get the deck going as well to bring out you know dragon knight if needed but just in case we're using our opponent stuff we also have some random credit plan stuff i'm not gonna go over the whole deck list but just know that we got some fun little gimmicky cards that you don't see a lot you don't see very often but you gonna see today and i'm gonna cook you know what it's fitting that i got this purple unfinished incorrectly colored dark magician <laughs> because just like this dark magician I am different. So my deck also has to represent that. Man. All right, first duel. Only nine cards in the extra deck. What you up to, bro? You, you doing something devious? Is this a bot? Okay, two level fours. You're going to build the overlay network. What's your, what's your play here? Okay, Utopia. Is this that stupid burn bot? All right. Uh, I've never beaten those bots because they they get exactly what they need every single duel. All right. First game was a fluke, guys. Everyone just relax. Sit back, relax. Watch as an optimal Dark Magician player goes to work and cooks an actual non-bot. Watch this. All right. Yeah. Look at this hand. Oh, man. See, y'all don't even understand. Like, this hand, this is a good hand right here. Like, this hand... This hand about to go crazy. Watch this. I'm going to set this. Uh, you think that's it? You think it's over? Boom. Also set this. Watch this. Watch this. You guys think this is bad. You guys think that, like, this wasn't a good starting play. But just watch. Just watch. See, so you guys You guys don't understand. Give it time. Huh. Do you really think your buy steel new belly on going to stop me? <laughs> this hand can't be beaten. By what? Psychic monster? If you think I'm gonna sit back and watch what your cards do, you're sadly mistaken. I'm gonna be over here not paying attention and putting the video in fast motion. Or my editor will, starting now.
So it looks like it's finally my turn to piss you off, huh? <laughs> I don't know what I can bring out, but I'm bringing out uh, super polymerization. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and discard uh, <laughs> this dark magician girl. Uh huh. Told you, it's just the best hand. You, you just, you just didn't get it. You didn't understand. I should have waited. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Watch out. I'm just getting started. Yep, you better watch out. Go ahead. Back to you. Back to fast motion, by the way. Yep, the, he's still just doing his thing. Yep. One more thing. Sorry, just... I'm 5,300 and now. All right, so we're going to go back to fast motion until something else happens where, you know, I, I get to, you know, play. But, you know, he, he's got punk in the name, so, you know... You're going to be taking a long time. All right. All right. Back to fast motion. Hey, just chiming in. He destroyed my Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, but I'm going to chain its its effect here. And what I believe is going to happen is there's going to be some sort of destruction of every single one of his cards. Except he did that. All right. Well, now, now we're not going to be able to do that. But you guys just kick back, you relax, because this is the optimal hand. We're going to shock our opponent with what we do here. Uh, we'll see you in a second. All right, all right, we're in battle phase. We're in battle phase, but you just watch what I do. Well, you just watch what I do right here. Yeah, go ahead, return that to my hand. I don't care, bro, I don't care, because watch this, watch this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, now you're in trouble. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Uh-oh, uh-oh, you better watch out. You better watch out, because Magic Karibo's in the building, baby. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you thought you thought you thought you was sweet. You thought you was going to do something. Watch this dark magician in defense mode. Yeah, now what are you going to do? Destroy me? Good luck. You idiot. Now that you've done that, my magic rebo activates and comes back to my hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't even attack, can you? Why couldn't you attack? I don't know. Nevertheless, uh, I'm better, bro. GG. Oh, what now, man? You're gonna bring out Opelousa? Bro, you're just a loser. Opelousa doesn't even like you. What is your response to that? All right, uh, well, this thing can banish my stuff once I play a card, but I just top deck the card of all cards, buddy. So first I'm gonna activate Soul Servant because I have Dark Magicians in my grave. Drawing two cards, ooh, perfect. Uh, in what order should I do this? I should do, I'm gonna activate Illusion of Chaos. Maybe I shouldn't have done this in, in this order. All right, that's gonna force Opelousa to use one of its effects, but that's fine. I'm gonna play Dark Magical Circle. Hmm, yes. I'm gonna go ahead and add my Eternal Soul. Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and set this Magician Navigation. I'm gonna set this Destined Rivals. I'm gonna set this Eternal Soul. And I'm even gonna set this Eye of Tamias. Just because if I play a monster, he can banish my stuff. So it's best that I keep this in my hand. All right. Now frame one, I need to bring out, I need to activate dark magical circle or, you know, eternal soul. I'm going to activate eternal soul. Use the effect. Hope he doesn't have a negate. I have to do it in this order because there's no way, brother. I have another one. I'm gonna go attack mode. I have my reasons. Think. Special summon it. Do I prevent this? I could. Yeah, I think I, I think I think I'm gonna prevent this. I'm gonna activate dark magical circle. I'm not too afraid of his monsters. I'm gonna hit this branded regained. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have hit something else, but it is what it is. Because once I banish this, this will prevent any of these effects from going off to shut down 
effect activations. I'm not gonna activate Magician's Rod. Come on, bro, you got one, two, three, four, five. You got five cards in your hand, make it work, make it count. I could stop this, but I don't know if I want to stop this yet. But he could Underworld Goddess me if I don't. I'm gonna Destin Rivals. I'm gonna do it now. Maybe I should have waited. He still hasn't normal summoned, but this will turn off the effects of every card that's currently on the field. And I'm too afraid to get Underworld Goddess. Oh, his connection is getting shaky. No way I beat Punk by Steel with this Dark Magician. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I had to sit there for seven plus minutes and he rage quit too, by the way. Dark Magician canonically made him rage quit. Now, before anybody says, well, actually, sometimes the connection of my PC actually does that sometimes too, conveniently when something gets outed on my board, uh, then I don't believe you. That's it. That's it. All right, next duel. I sat there all that time, bro. Hit me with two called buys and I cooked him. Oh, brother. Another long turn. All right, well, let's let's wait seven years for this one. One eternity later. Oh, would you look at that? It's my turn. <laughs> all right, buddy. Uh, so I kind of want to get rid of this, right? So I'm thinking super polymerization, but the issue the issue is, I don't know if I can do that. So what I would need is a light monster, which I don't know if I own. What does this do? Uh, once per turn during either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated, you can negate the activation. If you do destroy it and this card leaves the field, you can special summon one shooting star dragon from your extra deck. Nice, okay. So let's try to bait that into happening first. We're gonna discard our, one of our magician's rods, cause we have another one. Uh, we'll bring out Apprentice Illusion. Activate. Now you can go ahead and negate that. That's fine. Uh, he does it. Okay. Just gonna add Dark Magician into the hand. All right, I'm gonna play Magician's Rod. Activate the effect. Maybe he'll stop this one. He doesn't. Wow. Wow, partner. I'm gonna grab Soul Servant. Now I'm gonna play Dark Magical Circle. Getting a little nervous over there. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I am gonna still go ahead and activate Soul Servant. Does it negate activation? Negate the activation, and if you do destroy it. Okay, so if you negate the activation, then am I able to play my other uh, Dark Magical Circle? All right, I think I can't activate another one. So I'm going to grab Paladium Oracle Mahad, man. Because then I can just draw into him. Unless it has to be draw phase. I didn't read that part. Maybe I messed up. We're going to find out. Why can't I? Oh, because Dark Magician's not on in the graveyard. I'm, I'm just going to do this so I get Dark Magician into the graveyard. I have to discard this. And then uh, I think this guy can just punch over shooting Kazar Dragon and activate the effect. If I may, if I may, thank you. Big preachy, big preachy, brother. Activate Soul Servant. Oh, would you look at that? I drew Palladium Oracle Mahad. I'll be playing that now. I'll be attacking this. Response. Mink? Yes. Yes, now you can bring out the other loser. That's fine. I'm going to attack you now. Response. He probably thinks I'm dumb. He's not a dark monster. Paladium Oracle Mahad only works against dark monsters. <laughs> I'm not aiming for you. <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> Wait, why didn't this work? If your other dark spellcaster monster battles an opponent's monster. Wait, why didn't that work? What is... Oh, he's a light monster. All right, all right. <laughs> take two, take two, take two, take two. It has to be a dark spellcaster. My mistake, my mistake. I didn't read. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, you're gone, and so are you. Goodbye, goodbye. Any other tricks, Mink? Now, I don't like, I'm just gonna go ahead and play Bond between Tutor and Student. I would like to bring forth my Dark Magician Girl response. And I'm going to be setting my Dark Burning Magic, yes. Yeah, just gonna blow up your entire field next turn. Uh, but other than that, I think you're gonna be fine. I think you're gonna be good. All that summoning, bro. All these people just spend nine years summoning. Not worried about the consequences. Please play any card, bro. Unless it's a Kaiju or a Lava Golem or a Sphere Mode. Don't play those. But anything else, bro, play it. And he leaves. Another Rage Quit because they can't understand how they lost to Dark Magician. Anyway, uh, was that a coincidence too? Was, oh, the connection sometimes just gets shaky. The Stone Tablet series. I ran out. 
But I went to Target and I got a massive haul of a bunch more of these little mini figures. If you don't know what the stone tablet series is, basically there's these there's these mini figures and they come on these little stone tablet things. Not sponsored, by the way. Basically, whichever staple or character we pull, we have to build the deck using that staple and or character. We've gone through Blue Eyes, Jinzo, Joey Wheeler, and even Dark Magician so far. And uh, Dark Magician looked like this for some reason. This is how you know it's not sponsored. These things are jank. We're gonna check what the next minifigure is by slicing with a sword. Editor, add a sword stab sound effect when this actually goes through. All right, but nevertheless, let's see what our next one is. It's a dupe, damn it. We got Blue Eyes again. So I guess we're just gonna pull another one. That is what I... This is what I was fearing. I was worried that we would get a dupe eventually. We got lucky the first few times, but um, hopefully that doesn't happen again. No way. There's no way. I was dreading this more than any of the staples. Look at all these staples. Look at all the options. All of them seem doable, except one odd man. Our next stone tablet is Sagi the Dark Clown. All right, I'm gonna mix this up, all right? I, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but Sagi, I have to run at least three Sagi the Dark Clowns, okay? How I make it viable, I don't know yet, but I might just run full clowns or something like, I don't know. There's no way we win with this one. Like, like the last few, I was surprised that I was able to win with some of the decks that I had to make, but this one, there's no shot. I'll see you in a moment when I think of a deck <laughs> for Sagi the Dark Clown. <sighs> Sagi the Dark Clown. The deck has been made. All right, I was dreading this. But after putting the deck together, it actually made me excited because this is what I love about Yu-Gi-Oh! is when I get to like use my creativity and I don't know, like come up with something to make this work. Now, obviously he's a level three dark spellcaster. So what I did is I flooded the deck with, you'll see a lot of vanilla level three dark spellcasters in the deck. So because we have all these level threes, you know, you're going to see some level three exceed monsters. And because we have exceeds, Obviously, we got Zeus. But the main objective of this deck is activate by tributing two normal monsters. Neither player can normal or special summon effect monsters. This is going to shut down like 90% of decks. They can't normal or special summon any of their effect monsters. Their extra deck is pretty much going to be non-existent. It's going to be beautiful. So in order to get this off, like it says, tribute two normal monsters. So I need to get at least two of these out, which is why you're going to see me running Rescue Rabbit, our only non-vanilla monster in the deck. Uh, this can special summon two level four or lower normal monsters from the deck, but they get destroyed end phase. And we also have enchanting fitting room. What this does is I look at the top four cards in my deck and I can special summon any level three normal monster that I excavate, which is pretty much all of these. Creature seizures, just like change of heart, except even better, it's permanent. I could just permanently steal one of my opponent's monsters because the weak nature of my cards, I threw in Bower of the Guardians to make them a little stronger or they can progressively get stronger. Heat Wave also shuts out our opponent from doing what they want to do. You'll notice polymerization in the deck, and that is because first of the dragons just needs two normal monsters, and then I can bring this card out, and this card's actually really dope. Can't be destroyed by battle, except by battle with a normal monster, and it's unaffected by any monster effects, so it's going to be a really tough out, I think. And we also have Super Poly, so, you know, we got the... You know, we got the Preda Plant, we got the Starving Venom, you know, we got the Mud Dragon. Overall, I think the deck has a lot of potential. Again, as I was crafting this, putting it all together, I was like, this might be able to do something. And they're all Spellcaster Vanilla Monsters, so I threw this in along with Magicalized Fusion just so we have a 4,500 Beat Stick in case we need it. Nevertheless, we are jumping into ranked with this and seeing if it can win. I just feel bad for anyone who has to like go to sleep at night knowing they lost to Sagi the Dark Clown. I maybe I don't win at all, but I think I can. I think this deck can do something. I think it can do a little more than what people gave it credit for. This is an awful starting hand. Wow, it doesn't get much worse than this. Because this is in our starting hand, like this isn't bad in the main deck because I have ways to special summon from the deck. We're playing against a God card player or maybe you're just grabbing sphere mode. One card in the extra deck. Nah, this guy's not a Chad. This guy's a Chad. What you want over there? Hello? Rare Chad duel? All right. What is your de what what is this? What am I dueling against, man? Oh, that is such a savior of a card, man. All right, I'm going to play Rescue Wabbit Thieving. 
activate. Special summon. Should I bring out the poster boys? I'm not gonna bring out Sagi yet. I want I want Sagi to be what finished. You know what? Just in case we don't get to see him later, you know. Bring out Sagi the Dark Clown along with another Sagi the Dark Clown. All right, I have an idea. First, I'm going to create a little Link Spider. Activate Link Spider. I can special summon one of these normal monsters. Bink. I'm gonna Nightmare Phoenix right here. Pop the back row. The reason we have to get rid of this is because I wouldn't be able to attack. We drew another vanilla. Oh my God. I can't believe this deck is going to work. And then we use this two normal monsters to bring out first of the dragons. You couldn't have scripted a better start. And then magicalized fusion. <laughs> what? I am literally just a tier zero duelist. I'm sorry, guys. I just am. Kintet magician. 4,500 on the field. I'm just going to start swinging. I don't know what the damage is. I think it's not enough, but, you know, we doing the damage. We doing some damage on him. Pink. Now, because he's playing Wing Dragon Abra, I'm worried about spear mode. So, as much as I hate to do this... Oh, he's leaving. He's gone. He's gone. I don't even got to worry about it. I don't even got to worry about it. I don't even got to worry about it, baby. All right, I did a little change before going into this next duel because I just figured if my whole goal is to stop effect monsters from being summoned, then that could work against me as well. So I decided to throw some non-effect monsters into my extra deck, like Berserker of the Tenyi and uh, this Lamp more blah, 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 Gaia Saber, stuff like that, just because I figured or I just realized like I'm locking myself out to just using like Sagi the Dark Clown and stuff. So I need to have a backup plan. So again, the two other win conditions, I already showed you kind of the beatdown strat that this deck has, but there's also two other things I want to get off. One, the floodgate aspect of it just because it's funny uh and two i want and this is the more difficult task i want sagi to actually be the one who does the lethal damage to uh to beat my opponent interesting starting hand i'm going to have to pray that this resolves enchanting fitting room this could be damn he has ash blossom or maxi hopefully it's just maxi okay one Okay, all I really needed was one. So we're gonna bring out a Kakaisu and we're gonna bring out Sagi right here. I think we're gonna get the combo, but we are just one Harpy's Feather Duster away from losing the game. So the reason we're not using White Elephant's Gift or Bower of the Guardians is because in order to activate this again, I gotta tribute both of these. So I think we're gonna get the Floodgate aspect off in this game. I'm just gonna immediately activate it, prevent him from doing anything, tribute both and we're good to go it has resolved tyrant's throws no effect monsters can be played uh, oh don't tell me you're playing exodia you need cards on the field to play exodia or an optimal exodia but it would be funny if he just had all five honestly you just shake his hand and this is a funny moment in history god imagine they all started turning around he might just surrender this card might have just soloed him i might have just soloed him yep he can't play it <laughs> now i just need any monster to start beating down bro a guy guy suit Hold on, but I want Sagi to be the one who does it. You know what? I'm going to get a little greedy and activate this. I'm going to just draw two. I want Sagi to be the one who does the lethal damage. Ooh, perfect. Unexpected die. Bring out Sagi. Attack mode. And now it's time for you to face your demise. Now Sagi is going to get stronger with every attack. Bower of the Guardians. Every time I attack, I gain a counter. And for each counter I gain, I gain 500 attack points. And not only that, it also protects my card from being destroyed by battle. This is this is the Sagi, the Dark Clown board, baby. The fusion gimmicks, those are all, those are truly the side quests. The main boss is here. This clown appears from nowhere and executes very strange moves to avoid enemy attacks. Would you look at that? Tyrant's throws is just my strange moves to avoid enemy attacks. Hey, what? You're negating my attack? Then end the battle phase. Damn. All right, it didn't work. <laughs> hey, why? Oh, I'm unaffected because flawless perfection of the Tenyi. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. All non-effect monsters on the field are unaffected by monster effects. This is the dream board for Sagi the Dark Clown, baby. Oh, he's playing Numerons. This is even funnier. You can't play your deck at all. He's gonna surrender now. He's gonna come to the shocking realization. 
I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hold on. I get to draw for this. I get to draw for this. When effect monsters are played, this activates and I can draw two. Yes. God, if only I could play this. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. We don't take damage here. We're not going to take damage on the second attack. I think I lose. I do think I lose. Or it's going to be... I don't know. I don't know. Because I get stronger with every... With every battle that we have. Now I have to use this to protect myself. Remove a counter. No. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. All right. Remove the counter. Damn. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 But unfortunately... I think he beats me with effect damage. What's happening? Okay. You removed all my counters? Sagi, no! He negated my field spell. What do I do now? Oh, no! Sagi, you were killing it, bro. You were killing it. <laughs> but it was all for nigh. It was all for nigh. Sagi almost beat Numerons, bro. He almost soloed Numerons. Well, we take effect damage and we blow up now. Ah! Damn it. All right, next duel. Go first. That was the dream board. Again, it's obviously it's not unbeatable, but it's... Oh, man. Siggy was getting stronger and stronger, but we'll just... We'll, we'll, we'll pick up the pieces. We already got one win with it. We'll just get another win with it, you know? Easy. All right, so enchanting fitting room first. One, two, oh, give me three. Three! Oh, oh, and he's leaving. He's leaving. Just the thought of Sagi cooking you scared you that much, bro. It's a good starting hand. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with this starting hand right here. Enchanting fitting room. I look at the top four. I can play three. If I get three, I don't know why I said three, but okay, two. Defense mode. Defense mode. And guess what? It's not once per turn. Enchanting fitting room. One. Just one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think this strat will be to bring out... I have options. The deck has options. That's what's beautiful about it, man. All right, my two options are I could bring out a wall, which would be first of the dragons, or... You know what? We've already seen first of the dragons in this video, so let's mix it up a little bit. Let's bring out one of the coolest cards in the deck, Ashura King. Now, this guy can negate a monster effect, what do you have? Do you have Effect Veiler? I think he has Effect Veiler. Bro, it's not doing anything right now, you dunce. All right, he's one of those shiny button me press. Allure of Darkness, draw two. Let's banish a Kakaisu. And let's equip Bower of the Guardians. Put it on Ashura King. So this guy can negate a monster effect once per turn. I just have to detach material. And also for each material that he has, he can attack that many times. And for every time he attacks, he gets 200 attack points stronger. Cyber Dragons? Pfft, what is this supposed to do? Yeah, the answer is no. Ashura King says no. I will detach one Akakaisu to simply say no to your effect. Every Cyber Dragon. Doesn't matter. You could have a 60 card deck and Cyber Dragon Core will always find its way to the front of the deck somehow. Every time. What do you attack? You bet not. You bet not, bro. I promise you're going to regret attacking. Why did you attack this? Don't you ever in your life, bro, he's going to leave. He's gonna leave. He's gonna leave. He doesn't read, and he's gonna leave. This is beautiful. Heat wave. Now he can't play any cards on his next turn. No, I should have flipped over Sagi so he gets the final blow. But as you can see, I could just solo with this card right now. Sagi wouldn't have gotten the final blow anyway. I'm just gonna win. Good night. Goodbye. Me. The deck has tools. So technically, we have gotten the floodgate off. We have shown cool extra deck monsters that can win we've shown quintet magician we've shown burst of the dragons we just showed ashura king which can turn into zeus by the way but the one thing we haven't done with the deck is win with sagi being <laughs> the one who finishes off my opponent not that yes okay we're good special summon fairy witch special summon fairy witch white elephant's gift Draw two. We're going to get the floodgate off. Bring out Link Spider. Activate Link Spider. Bring out Sagi the Dark Clown. And then during his draw phase, Tyrant's throws. 
Tribute both, and you can't play any monsters. Response. If you look back very closely at this card, it's key, the, dark, the Dark Clown is there too. Deadu! Oh, you're so cooked. I'm gonna White Elephant's Gift. Draw two. It's a risk, because if I don't get another normal monster... Okay, we're good, we're good. Mink. I should have activated Heat Wave. All right. Well, if he's going to combo, now's the time. Branded Fusion. I, I, I'm so cooked. Should have activated Heat Wave, man. All right. You win, bro. Leave me alone. Come on, Sagi. We can do this, man. We got, we got a couple dubs. We can do it again. You're playing Pendulums. You have just dried up every vagina in a five-mile radius of you, partner. I hope you're happy. All right, heart of the cards. I have many monsters. I just need this to be one of them. I like this. Defense mode. Defense mode. Amazon S. All right, spiritualist, I believe we are going to say no to because it could fuse and bring out something scurry. Goodbye. You, yes. Bar of the Guardians, as long as I have a counter remove, can't be destroyed. Switch to attack mode. And I can attack for every material that I have. And I get stronger with each attack. And this is the part where you run away. We really trying this again? I already know what to do. You activate Spiritualist, I say no, and we move on with our lives. No. And I would apologize, but... I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've made mistakes. Honestly, I could be a better person if you would allow me to be a better person. I didn't... Honestly, I didn't know you had that dog in you, Bob. I didn't know you um, were capable of... This is gonna hurt. Why didn't you attack? You know what? I like to live life on the edge. Attack the swordswoman. That hurt. But at least that's gone. Let's go into Zeus. All right. I think I'm just going to activate this now. Looks like you have nothing else you can do. I want Sagi to throw that final blow, man. Just once. Just one time, Sagi. All right. This is a hand. But because of my expert deck construction, this hand is playable. Watch this. Link of Spider. Brother Plant. First of the Drago. Magician's Rod. No. GG, you win. I regret to inform you guys that I'm going to lose this duel. So I'm going to expedite it. Whoa! All right. That's what I'm talking about right here. Look at it. Look at it. Heat wave. Watch this. You can't play nothing. You can't play nothing. Sorry. Uh -huh. Nice. Starving Venom Fusion Drago. Would you like to surrender? Branded Chimera. <laughs> but that card will do absolutely nothing. Nice, bro. Your whole field's gone. Thoughts? Tribute one fusion monster. Special summon this card. <gasps> but if you bring that out, then nothing will happen. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, brother. Just go away, man. All right, again, if you have back row that can destroy this, or if you have a spell or a trap, then that's fine. But monsters are not gonna do the trick here, man. All right, that'll do the trick. Um, I'll shake your hand and I'll become a better person for this. <laughs> but it appears I am a dumbass, goodbye. Oh yeah. Couldn't get past one heat wave. Sorry, bro. Sometimes it gets hot. <laughs> Shit. Now this is a hand. That is awful. Dark Law. Oh no, he's gonna banish one of my cards if I add it. Uh, not end of the world. Okay, because we can unexpected die. We can steal Dark Law. We will take Dark Law. Dark Law will be ours. Damn you.
six, son of a fuck. You might have just helped me. You might have just helped me. Isn't this a normal monster too, this big token? You might have just helped me. I get to draw two now. Thanks? You just outed yourself. You gave me a monster. This could be my out. I think I just want a Kakaisu. Shit. I think I just lost. Because of this dumb card, bro. I can't turn this into Artemis because Artemis, even though I'm getting rid of a spellcaster to replace it with a spellcaster, doesn't count. All right, if it's Magic Cylinder, I will just simply hold that. It's not. It's not. Don't have something that's 2,500, man. Okay, well, that means regardless, I was cooked. No way. Playing that. Bro, what the what the you think you're gonna do with this red eye, huh? I'm stealing this card next turn, by the way. I'm gonna punch you. Watch out. Mink. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. He surrendered. I am going to throw up in my mouth. God damn, please, bro. Oh, <laughs> You're a little whore, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you know what? This is justice. I'm gonna go ahead and just play Sagi in defense mode. Then I'm gonna play Fairy Witch, activate White Elephant's Gift, draw Dose. I'm gonna set Super Poly just in case and I'll add my turn there. If he's dumb, he'll attack. Thanks for the free counter. Ink. Deru. Sagi beat down! Initiate! Bower of the Guardians, part two. So now I'll gain 1,000 for every attack that I do. Bro, that might stop good decks, but that's not gonna stop me, partner. Here, bro, I'm about to bless you. I'm about to bless you, bro. I'm about to bless you, bro. You may have this card, but you gotta give me yours. Good deal? You can have that. Attack mode. Batal! Sagi! Dark Clown! Honk Honk! Attack! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, Mink. Oh, Sagi gonna get strong. Sagi gonna get strong. I appreciate the card. I keep this forever, by the way. You may not know that, but you gonna learn. Oh, brother, this guy sucks. Oh, no, you little dickhead. And then this can destroy Sagi, but he doesn't do it. Okay, Sagi beat down is not done. Rescue Rabbit. He has a solemn judgment. Mink, mink. Bink, bink. Look at Supercharged Sagi going crazy. Destroy that. I don't care. I just don't care. What you fail to realize is that's good against good decks, bro. That ain't gonna do nothing to me. Bink, bink. All right, I got to get rid of these because it gets destroyed end phase for first of the dragons. Please don't surrender, bro. I know you play a toxic deck and you probably can't handle losses very well, but I need you to please just not surrender. He's going to surrender. You know what? This classifies as a Sagi domination, bro. Sagi cooked. Sagi cooked. All right, I'll take it. You know what? Sagi did his thing. We got a supercharged Sagi. That will classify as my Sagi dub. Stone tablet! I just woke up. <laughs> Rise and shine, ladies and fellas, man, because the stone tablet series has returned. You don't know what the stone tablet series is? Essentially, we pull a minifigure random from one of these uh, packs here, and they come on these little stone tablets. So I decided to call it the stone tablet series. Wow. And again, we've gone through this five times already. So hopefully by now you kind of understand, but if you're new here, welcome, subscribe. Go we'll catch up on those other episodes as I open the next stone tablet. The only way warriors meant to all right now we're getting more and more likely to get dupes because of the nature of this but let's see what we got <laughs> finally <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one this is gonna be a fun one stupid maybe bad but fun we have got 
The Pharaoh Atem. It's time to duel. It's time to duel! Again, so the rule when it comes to using a character like I did with Joey, 80% of the deck has to follow these guidelines. I need to run at least three staples that the Pharaoh ran, and then the rest of it has to either be support for one of those staples or all of them, or I can use cards that the Pharaoh actually played at some point in the anime. Sounds a little complex, but I'll explain once I've built my deck in what may just be my most mangy accurate stone tablet deck yet i present to you the atem deck the pharaoh you're gonna see just about every iconic staple in this deck we got dark magician we got the knights in here big shield gardener karibo Gaia support, Buster Blader, Curse of Dragon, some Catapult Turtles, just all the iconic stuff that you can think of outside of Summon Skull, because Summon Skull is going to be its own video. Spoiler alert, it's one of the it's one of the things I just haven't pulled it yet. And that's why our extra deck looks so crazy. Honestly, the only two cards in our main deck that aren't direct cards that Yugi used and or support are the Super Polymerizations and Lightning Storm. Outside of that, just about every single card is uh, either support for one of the Pharaoh's cards or a card he actually used. We even got magical hats in here. It looks like a mess, but I promise I'm going to tap into the confidence of the Pharaoh and I will have the heart of the cards on my side. They could be playing the most broken decks in the world, but that's not enough to defeat the heart of the cards. The way I like to see this is if, like, the Pharaoh woke up after 2,000 years and had to play modern Yu-Gi-Oh, you know? Because this is a different game than uh, he played when he went to sleep, I'll tell you that much. Ooh, a T? Hold on, he'd, he'd recognize this. Yeah, what a devastating combination. That face down card could be anything. I draw. Perfect. I'll start by playing my artillery catapult turtle. And then I'll activate its effect, tributing itself, allowing me to call forth my Gaia, the magical knight. Yes. Yeah, and then his effect activates. Special summoning my curse of dragonfire. I activate curse of dragonfire, allowing me to fusion summon into Gaia, the magical knight of dragons. He has an animation pussy. And now I will simply attack your face down card without hesitation. Yeah, are you playing a goat deck? I activate my effect. Pyramid turtle in this economy? Once my Gaia, the magical knight of dragons destroys a monster, his attack is double, adding 2,600 to his strength. Now I'll go to the main phase. I will simply activate my effect, destroying your Doom King, Baldurok. And I'll end my turn. How will you best my Gaia, the dragon champion? Gah! This is a true Pharaoh deck. You know what I'm tired of? I'm going to chain this effect. Destroying this before it's activated, I will not be turning into a zombie. And I can't afford to allow you to let this thing do its thing. End phase, just as I thought. But now my guy is rendered useless. Yeah. Maybe looking at my zero attack and thinking, hmm, now he can't do anything. The joke's on you. I tribute my guy of the dragon champion for Dark Magician Girl. And I'll attack with Dark Magician Girl. Pussy. And I'll end my turn. You're gonna bring out Zombie World. I don't have anything that gets rid of back row. This is bad. I think I just need to simply avoid using card effects. I draw. Perfect. I'm going to say everything I draw is perfect, despite the fact that I would love to see anything other than this. This card is too powerful. I can't destroy it, not yet. I'll place one card face down and move my Dark Magician Girl to defense mode. Your tyranny will only go so far, Black Fraser. Which one will you target? Yeah, not my dark magician, girl! <laughs> Sorry, I'm in character. I draw. Perfect. I know what I must do. I'll start by activating Monster Reborn. I'll bring back... My Gaia, the magical knight of dragons! That's right, Pussy. Now I'll flip up my obnoxious Celtic guard. I'll play my Big Shield Gardener, and now I'll call forth a Link Summon, my Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos! And now I'll proceed to battle, destroying your Doom King. And now I will banish one card on the field, forever getting rid of your zombie world and clearing my status ailments, and I will end my turn. 
I am the Pharaoh. This is a true Pharaoh deck. Not that some people be like, oh, this is a Pharaoh deck. Ain't no way. I'm getting sick of this, but I just drew the perfect card. Defense mode, right where you belong. I won't be activating any card effects. I'll simply destroy you yet again. Thus, getting rid of your final zombie world. Goodbye. This duel is all but over. You can't defeat me. I will set a card and end my turn. Yeah, yeah. What's the point? Now my card can get destroyed because its effect is negated. You sick son of a bitch. I promise to make you regret this. Not a bad play is what I would say. I draw. But unfortunately for you, this duel will come to a close. I'm going to set one card face down and end my turn. I have no choice but to activate Joker's Wild. You sick son of a bitch. I send away Joker straight. I'll also send away my Buster Blader in place Queen's Knight. Grab King's Knight. And I will not normal summon this because I understand uh, mistiming. If I do that now, since the way the chain resolves, I won't be, be able to bring out Jack's Knight. So I have to simply end it there. I activate Joker straight, allowing me to return my Gaia the Magical Knight to my deck, thus adding Joker straight back to my hand. I draw. Perfect. I activate Joker straight. I'll send away my Karibo. Thus, special summoning my second Queen's Knight. Add Jack's Knights to the hand. Jack's Knights. And then normal summon my King's Knight. And Jack's Knight's in my hand, so it doesn't special summon from the graveyard or from the deck. I'll tribute my Queen's Knight for Jack's Knight. And now my Knight. Onward, advance! Queen's Knight! King's Knight! Jack's Knight! I'll set one card and end my turn. I'll activate Joker straight in the graveyard, returning my Queen's Knight. Thus, returning Joker straight to my hand. A set card? Gah, that could be anything. I draw. Perfect. I'll play my Artillery Catapult Turtle, activating its effect, tributing itself to call forth my Gaia the Magical Knight. Gaia's effect activates, special summoning a level 5 dragon from my graveyard, my Curse of Dragonfire. Yes. I have no fusion fodder for this. I suppose I will just finish you off now. You've earned this, Queen's Knight! Slash him! Not a bad duel. Mah, 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 mah. This hand is not perfect, but the Pharaoh would look at Slifer in a starting hand. This is perfect. Gasp. This guy's has a card that says Synchro on it. That's how you know I'm gonna be sitting here for seven years. Eventually. It looks like it's finally my turn now. I don't know what any of these cards. <laughs> well, well, well. It looks like I truly am the Pharaoh. <laughs> I'll activate my Joker's Knight, sending away one Queen's Knight and placing this in attack mode. And it looks like you're not activating your effect. So you leave me no choice but to play my super polymerization. I'll send away my magical hats and I'll target both of these cards. Calling forth my, my Garura, Wings of Resonant Life, which I should have put in defense mode. But that's fine, because I know exactly what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to eliminate your tuners. Both of them. I don't think I played this optimally, but it should be good enough to win this duel for my opponent is missing one thing in his deck, and that is something that you can't add. It's no card you can pay for, and that is the heart of the cards. If I don't activate this now, I may never get a chance to do so again. I activate Joker's Wild. I'll regretfully send away my Slife for the Sky Dragon. Now I regret to inform the audience, this is a Synchro player, so this is going to be another long turn. We won't skip the whole turn, but we will put this in fast motion until the battle phase. Knight! I'll make you regret this, you sick son of a gun. 
Damn, that does piercing damage. Not my Joker's Knight. I will allow it. I'll activate my Magic Karibo. You leave me no choice but to call forth my Ace Dark Magician. Now I know you must be terrified. Joker's Knight activates in the graveyard, returning one of my cards promptly. I'll be returning my Queen's Knight first. Joker Straight also activates in the graveyard, allowing me to return my King's Knight. You thought that was all. I'm just getting started. Now my Joker's Wild will also activate, returning my Jack's Knight into the deck. I draw. Perfect. And now, using all three cards, I call forth my Black Luster Soldier! Then I'll follow it up with my Joker Straight, sending away my Electromagnetic Turtle, and special summoning my Queen's Knight in defense mode, grabbing my King's Knight, and then promptly normal summoning my King's Knight. But I have no more Jack's Knights, regretfully. First, I will destroy... Let me read. <laughs> First, I'll destroy your Piercing Damage Pest. Then I'll activate my Black Luster Soldier effect, allowing me to banish one card on the field, getting rid of your Stardust Dragon, which I think you might find important. Then I'll get rid of your only other tuner on the field. Set one card face down. And then, using King's Knight and Queen's Knight, I will link summon into Isolde. Two Tales of the Golden Knights. Golden? Noble Knights. That's a tuner! Yeah! That's not! Yeah! That's not! He could bring out a level 10 Synchro Monster right now and... By God, I'd be in trouble. He's not going to do anything. Unfortunately for you, I cannot allow you to destroy my Isolde. Actually, yes I can. I play Joker straight. Sending away my Dark Magic attack. Calling forth my Queen's Knight, this time in attack mode. King's Knight. I will destroy your Synchron Carrier. King's Knight, destroy! Leaving you with just one non-tuner card on your field. The time has finally come for me to end this- I knew I was gonna top deck this. I knew I was gonna top deck this. It's time. I'm going to tribute my ace card and bring forth Jack's Knight! The Slifer's gone. Uh-oh. Slifer's in the graveyard. I would have been able to special summon Slifer. It would have been the perfect ending. Uh, I, I regret to inform you that I have misplayed. Uh, run it back. I don't want to tribute that card anymore. Uh, defense mode. Defense mode. Oh, ha, ha. Slifer. I only run one Slifer and it's in my graveyard. Oh, now he can draw two. This is bad. I told you I had the heart of the cards, not the brain. Please be nothing. I've already banished your Stardust Dragon. What else can you do? Oh no, that's a combo starter. There's nothing you have left but to destroy my King's Knight and piss me off. I will use Electromagnetic Turtle. I would like to keep King's Knight on the field. I draw. <laughs> I don't know why I react like that. I still can't use it. But basically, Joker's Wild would be able to use Thunder Speed Summon. I could bring out Slifer, but um, one thing led to another, and that's not going to happen, is it? Instead, I will simply tribute my Queen's Knight for my Joker's Knight. King's Knight into attack mode. Leaving you with just about no resources, but I... You are so lucky I am a dumbass. I will end my turn. Special summon it? Okay. Well, what's the big play? You couldn't do anything with this before, but now what can you do? That's an incredibly powerful card. I don't know how I'll beat that. Yeah! Not my Joker's! Yeah! During the end phase, Joker's Knight will activate, returning one of my warriors to my deck. I draw. It's time for you to perish. Monster Reborn! I will grab Slifer, the Sky Dragon! Bolstering 4,000 attack points. I'm going to also activate Joker's Knight. Sending away my Queen's Knight. Placing Joker's Knight on the field. Now I will battle. 
Slifer! Thunder Force Attack! Joker's Knight! Joking Slash! Jack's Knight! Jack in the Box! King's Knight! Royal Finish! I am the Pharaoh. This hand is perfect. Joker Straight. Joker Straight will activate, returning my Joker's Knight into the deck, drawing itself. Yeah, you're playing my cards. Is this some sort of sick joke? That's my Dark Magician. I will immediately play my Thunder Speed Summon. This will allow me to search out from my deck my Slife for the Sky Dragon. And then, because I control King, Queen, and Jack's Knight, I can immediately Tribute Summon a God! Slife for the Sky Dragon! The Dark Magicians? You dare betray me! Now you have 800 attack when faced with a god. He has card advantage. <laughs> I love the idea of Yugi using like modern terms. Magician's Rod? You do know what will happen if you play that card, don't you? Do not ignore the second mouth on Slifer. It is here for a reason. Yeah! He's going to bring out Dark Magician. Impossible! Your attack will be lowered. I refuse! Super polymerization! Activate! I will discard my Joker straight. And using both of your cards, I will bring forth a monster of undeniable strength. The same card as you. I will get rid of your Dark Magician and Dark Magicians and call forth the Dark Magicians! Lifer. How could you defeat a god? You mean they can target it in this game? You fool. You're only allowing me to draw another card. And I promise it will be a card you will regret allowing me to draw. Dark Magicians, activate! Perfect. Battle phase. Ah, ah, ah. My Dark Magicians! You fool! Now I'll activate my Dark Magicians. Special summoning, my Dark Magician. Yes. And his trusty companion, Dark Magician Girl Pussy. Joker straight, activate. I draw. This is perfect. I'll play my Artillery Catapult Turtle. Activating its effect. I will activate my Curse of Dragonfire's effect, allowing me to fuse my Curse of Dragonfire with my Dark Magician Girl. The call for Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. I'll activate its effect, discarding my Joker straight to thereby destroy your dark magical circle. And now I will simply battle. Dark Magician Girl, destroy. Dark Magician, dark magic attack. You played a great duel, but it's all but over. I set one card face down and end my turn. Joker straight will activate. While I understand your attack will be doubled during the battle. Yeah, I forgot about that card. <laughs> I'll activate my Dark Magician Girl. The Dragon Knight's effect. Discarding Joker straight, which will endlessly recycle. Destroying your Palladium, Oracle Mahad. What do you mean he's gonna special summon a Dark Magician? <laughs> Impossible! You wouldn't dare crash into me, would you? <laughs> this is bad. Now he's gonna set dark burning magic, and that could destroy my entire field. It's just dark magic attack. I no longer have any fear in my heart. Oh no, I should have activated this sooner! Super polymerization! I'll discard polymerization! I'll just bring out my Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, who I never played, but this is just to get rid of both of your cards. So truly, are you really destroying me, or are you destroying yourself? Yeah! My field is empty. What will I do now? Part of the cards. Guide me. This is perfect. Not at all. It's just a card that I will be discarding shortly. I'll play my Joker straight. Discarding my magical hats. 
Now, please, just don't have mirror force, you asshole. I attack! And I attack! And I'm going to end this duel. Jax Knight, go! Only one of us could rank up Biden's own. But please, don't get your head down. You can improve, but only I will be moving on. What did I just rank up with? Just, just as a reminder, this is what I just ranked up with. <laughs> Woo! You love to see it. You love to see it. I am the Pharaoh. There's so many gimmicks I still wanted to pull off, man, but we saw a lot. We saw a lot. We saw this. I think we might've saw this at some point. We could've easily. There's so many other gimmicks in this deck, but hey, that's a dub. I am the Pharaoh. The illustrious Stone Tablet series continues. We have gone through five of the stone tablets. If you don't know what the series is by now, if this is the first time you're stumbling on this, essentially, I open up one of these packs. It gives me one of these random figures. And depending on which figure I get, I make a deck with that figure. I think we've gotten the hard stuff out of the way because we've done Sagi the Dark Clown for God's sake. So after I went through that, I felt like that was rock bottom. Got through that. Now I feel confident in just about anything I put together. Now I'm not even gonna struggle to, uh, try to rip this thing open because you know sometimes they're just built a little different so instead we open it up the old medieval way get the sword all right and the next stone tablet that i will be playing unless i played it before because in that case it would be dupe claws and i can just pull another one is huh the fuck it's blue eyes again, but another misprint. Wait, this looks dope though. All right, so this is dupe claws. This is the third blue eyes I pulled, but hold on, I'm gonna show you. So this was blue eyes when I pulled it. It was episode one, but as you can see, I got like platinum blue eyes, bro. I don't know if this is on purpose. I know that blue eyes can, you know, take forms like this, but this one just has, it's like all the same color. This might just be an error because Lord knows errors can happen. God, if I was gonna get a dupe, why couldn't it be like a correctly printed Dark Magician? Again, this is how you know it's not sponsored by whatever brand creates these things because some of these things are trash. <laughs> Nevertheless, dupe plus, let's try that again. Slice. Okay. Guys, the, the further we get into it, I might get into a situation where I have to keep pulling until I don't get a dupe because it just could be dupe after dupe after dupe after dupe. All right. It is. Another printing error, but it is Exodia, the forbidden one. I say it's a printing error because the way it's supposed to look, this is how it's supposed to look. Although I can't lie, the all gold looks kind of dope. Is this on purpose? I don't know. The gold and the platinum blue eyes, they kind of, they look like they could have been on purpose. Nevertheless, I will put together an Exodia deck and uh, we will try to get some dubs in rank. Let's go. The Exodia deck, the true god of Yu-Gi-Oh. If you think about it, this is the only card your opponent can't do anything. You get all five pieces, you just win. It doesn't matter how devastating their board looks, you just win. Nevertheless, probably looking at this deck and wondering, what the fuck? This is Exodia, but I punch. That is the reason why I named it this, because let's face it, when you think of Exodia players, what do they all do nowadays, man? They just play solitaire. They just, I play this card, and then I draw this card, and then I play this card, and then I draw this card, and then I play this field spell, and I draw this card, and then I activate this monster effect, and I draw this card, and then I do this, and then I draw this card. Bro, that's whack. All right, that's not entertaining. You knew if I was gonna play Exodia, it wasn't just gonna be some solitaire BS. This is gonna be the best Exodia video you've ever seen in your life. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> Let me explain this a little bit. So to start the Ishizu cards, the way that this deck is gonna work is we're gonna be wanting to mill out cards from the top of our deck into the graveyard. Why do we want to do that? Um, because we could potentially get Slifer into the graveyard. If we get Slifer into the graveyard, we could revive Sky God bring it out of the graveyard and then draw six cards, potentially, depending on how many cards are in our hand, uh, which is insane. And the way that it works is if we do happen to get these Exodia pieces into our graveyard, then it's not end of the world because we can bring them back with our shufflers, Mudora and Keldo. Got limited by the way, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Or we could just leave them in the graveyard and that'll make our legendary Exodia incarnate super strong because he gains a thousand attack for each forbidden one monster in the graveyard and the way that we're going to get these effects to activate these ishizu cards that mill is they have to be discarded to discard them we have chaos hunter and chaos hunter is super important because it also actually protects our exodia pieces in a way because you didn't know a lot of cards are banishing cards from the graveyard like bestials and called by the grave so they're going to be wanting to get rid of these exodia pieces if they see them in the graveyard obviously so if chaos hunter comes out 
basically if my opponent special summons something i can discard a card from my hand special summon this and that card that i discard could be like this for example or this for example or slifer to get it into the graveyard so i could do this or the reason i have these danger cards in i could discard this and then uh it pops a card or i could discard this to search out one of these and then also gravekeeper's trap can do the same thing in terms of discard yeah the beauty of this deck is you never know how i'm gonna win it could be off of all the exodia pieces it could be off of a big meaty strong a uh, big powerful slifer because you know maxi might net me a bunch of cards you, you never know we're gonna find out all right coin toss has been secured uh first or second i'll be going first yeah yeah all right this is an interesting hand i would have preferred maxi if i were going second bro please why you get rid of that one mothman why you get rid of that one mothman come Sorry. on man how come he don't want me man all right keldo all right this is this is risky right here this is risky what i'm about to do dugatis dugatis what this card does is it allows me to draw two card and then discard one the reason why it's risky is because i skip my next draw phase come on give me slifer oh yes 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 i am the hero of the story now i want my hand empty don't hit yourself bigfoot thank you thank you thank you let me cook let me cook let me cook and we got another maxi oh this is the game and we haven't gotten rid of one exodia piece oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> like scoop we're gonna cook dude all right here's the plan here's the plan they try to special summon anything do I chain Maxi to this? Because what if they draw into Ash Blossom? But I need them to play a card. Okay, okay, not into the I, I, I'm going to do it just in case. I'm worried they could draw into like Called By or Ash Blossom. So I got to use this ASAP. Playing Exodia. Chaos Hunter is going to shut this whole deck down. And I got Exchange of the Discard Exchange of the Spirit. Bring out Chaos Hunter. What do you have? You have a Maxi as well? What the fuck? Damn, damn. Okay, okay. That's fine. I, I didn't read that, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. He knew he had to do that because Chaos Hunter probably shuts down the whole engine of his. Before that resolves, I'm chaining Revive Sky God. Look, he has five cards in his hand. This is the perfect setup. My card can't be negated, so I'm not mad at Ash Blossom. I don't know if that was on purpose so he can draw an extra card or what. By the way, I did call it. He did end up drawing that Ash Blossom. Fly for the Sky Dragon. Boom! Yes! Yes! And I still got Maxi in play. We could potentially... You played it in attack mode, and there's a god on the field. Watch out, partner. And we got both Shufflers in Grave and Exchange of the Spirit. Bro, this, this might be the best hand. This might be the optimal hand. Goodbye, Slifer is a god. Sorry. You could Sharen. Excavate the top five, then if you do... You know what? I want him to special summon. He still doesn't know I'm playing Exodia. I haven't seen one piece. So if he brings out enough cards, if he summons enough, we might just win by Exodia. This could just be the best duel that I've had with this deck ever. I had a similar concept on stream. It was a little different because the Ishizu cards weren't banned yet. All right, this deck summons so much and I'm honestly just gonna kind of like let it fly. The more he special summons, the closer I get to Exodia, one piece. Oh, you taking the maxi challenge because you think you just have to get over my board, but nah. He thinks he has to get over my board and then like just attack for game or something. No, 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 playboy. Keep summoning. Actually, I see he's playing uh playing like kelbeck and stuff so that could be bad because then it would expose that i'm playing all right he got rid of slifer do i have any backup plans <laughs> oh he's ending his turn oh we're fine we're fine we're so good man we're so we're so good i skipped the draw phase but bro does it matter we could card destruction right now and get so much off of it but i need to get these exodia pieces in the graveyard first or if we just empty our deck damn near and then revive sky god <gasps> that's the play that's the play that's the play we have it's gonna be based off of revive sky god so oh man hold on i'm nervous now this is literally the best setup i could have possibly had all right I'm, I'm just gonna do it i'm just gonna do it he used ash blossom already what's the worst that could happen sheesh okay before i start activating these mothmen and shit all right we're gonna activate it yeah i'll activate kelbeck Yes, I would love to set a card. I would love to set a card. I would love to set a card. Revive Sky God. All right, that's all of our cards. We have to discard. Um...
So here's what we do. We activate Mudora. And then we're just going to add all pieces of Exodia that we have in the graveyard into our deck. And maybe just throw a block dragon or two back away too. Because uh, fuck that card. So our whole deck is just Exodia pieces now. All right. But we have to empty this hand pretty much, man. All right. So we're going to set this uh forbidden droplet just because we have to empty our hand so we can actually draw and it's three cards so we need to draw three so we need so we're gonna just send this away this away so we'll send away this agito we're not gonna use its effect obviously we can't <gasps> Ooh. we just play this and now we win the game because my friend it is time to pray that this resolves. The Revive Sky God activates, allowing me to draw till I have six cards. And my last three cards are none other than... I couldn't have scripted a better duel. Don't ever sleep on my deck building skills. I am tier zero duelist. Fly for into Exodia. You've never, you couldn't have even fathomed it before I brought it into existence. I birthed this deck. This is not a good starting hand. It's funny, cause in the anime they'd be like, like if it was all four pieces, then I'd be like, okay, let's see where this goes. Oh, it's flu. <laughs> Goodbye. Wait, no, they don't special summon anything. Yep, you got it. Win and you'll gain rank. What if I were to tell you you're not gonna win? And I'm not even gonna decide whether to go first or second. Fate will decide. It's decided that I go second. I will win because Chaos Hunter and Maxi is gonna pop off. Watch this. Not exactly what I had in mind. Oh, he's playing Bestial. That means Chaos Hunter solos. Again, so what this deck does is if I control a monster, he can banish my card from the graveyard to summon his card. So let's simply play around that you max seed can i make you regret that for the rest of your life perhaps grab a gravekeeper's trap in my best interest to not activate Kelbeck. i hate to say it as much as i want to for my effect overall i think it's going to benefit him more because the potential that i get rid of an exodia piece and then he just you know takes it so instead we're going to just do this and set a droplet and send it back to us you know what? We're gonna chain Gravekeeper's Trap. We're gonna send away Exchange of the Spirit. We should lock him out of his graveyard effects. Ash Blossom is fine. I don't know what to stop here, I'm not gonna lie. Thunder Dragon Colossus! I could stop this or try to hit that hit that basically we're just gonna hit anything that's a thunder card and I'll also take this back I guess hopefully with any luck he has to end up using his own thunder dragon colossus yeah stopped it nightmare Fe bro leave my card alone I gotta stop this oh I was gonna target gravekeeper's trap wait do I lose what's the math Okay, all right, glad, because I did not do the math. So first I have to use Forbidden Droplet. Regretfully, we are going to have to send away our right arm. We're gonna send this away. We're gonna grab a Guido, and then Mothman is gonna activate, allowing me to draw one and then discard one. So we're gonna discard a Guido, Drew Maxi, activate a Guido. Yeah. All right, what else is in our graveyard? What do we get? We got a turtle. Nice. We got Slifer. We need a revive Sky God in the graveyard. So we're going to send more. We're going to send from our side. Did not get Kelbeck, unfortunately. Or a revive Sky God. Damn. All right, we're just supposed to lose this one, I guess. He doesn't know I have turtle. He doesn't know I have turtle. And I'm going to linger on. I'm going to exist. I can't be bested. Not by you. Electromagnetic turtle. We need a top deck of revive Sky God. Oh, yes. Maximum C. 
Ah, oh, Thunder Dragon Titan. You sick son of a gun. Wait. Oh, Kelvec. Good to see you, buddy. They do. Oh, revive Sky God. Uh, but this thing can pop my card if I don't. Uh, all right, we just have to give him to give him two cards to pop. Okay. Set, set. <gasps> it worked. Just go into battle phase, bro. Just go into battle phase, because you don't know any better. Okay. I should have activated this first, but you know what? It's fine. I have to do this now before this works, but he's gonna get a whole hand for this too. So. Hold on. I gave him a lot of tools though. All right, whenever he plays that, I'm going to chain Maxi. Hope he doesn't. He, he definitely probably drew Ash Blossom. I would I would venture to assume. I'm going to chain this just to force him into using Maxi if he has it. My card can't be negated, but thank you for using Ash Blossom. Now I can get away with using Maxi later. Just don't have called by. Cross up, Dez. You don't have any Maxis left. Stop lying. Shit. All right. Well, that's probably going to do it. I mean, he just has to attack for game. I don't think I have anything. Ah! Wait, you know what? I'm going to go first this time. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go first this time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go first. Yeah. 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 This. All right. Mothman. If I'm destined to win this game, Mothman is going to send away Kelbeck or itself. Please just don't hit Maxi. If you have Ash Blossom, you're an idiot for using it right now. Please use it. Oh, you... You think you're me. Oh, I'm destined. I'm sorry, bro. I am destined. To, I'm. If this sends away Slifer, I am super destined to win. Okay. It didn't send away Slifer. I'm not super destined to win, but I'm still destined to win. Who's our opponent playing? Oh, Pendulums. I am frame one. I am frame one, Maxine. It ain't even that serious, bro. See, now I gotta beat your ass. Now I can activate Chaos Hunter. Send away a Guido. Chaos Hunter. Activate a Guido. Hopefully I get a Kelbeck or a Slifer. Yes. Oh, Kelbeck. Yes. 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 Now send away a Slifer. Please, bro. It didn't send away a Slifer. And just like that, I think I lose the game. Damn, I didn't even get exchange of the spirit. Come on, man. Come on. Uh, see, if I... I hate when they don't know how lucky they are, bro. They, he just doesn't understand. You lucky as fucking you don't even know! I don't know. I just don't know. I hate when I don't know. I don't know whether to go first or second, so I just let fate decide. And if I lose, I lose rank. I should have gone first with this hand. Oh, it's Tier Laments. All right. I win. It's tradition. I have to cook a tier limits player. Sorry. I don't make the rules. <laughs> that was your whole play. Bro, I'm mad that this is going to help him. Hold on. I'm going to play this so in case I mill out a tier limits card, I can stop it. Oh, brother. You're, you're just an annoying whore, aren't you? you Want to play that game? Let's play that game. You know what? Let's... I'm not gonna be, I'm just gonna fight fire with fire, bro. Fight tier with tier shit, all right? I'm, I'm just gonna send away a Guido, and all right, we're gonna see what happens. You know, let's see who mills out better, partner. That's what you wanna do. Why? I'm literally helping your deck. <laughs> Idiot alert. <laughs> this would have helped you out tremendously because you seem like you bricked pretty badly. I don't, I don't know what you up to, but all right. That was your decision. What are you turning into? I didn't know you were also a whore. Bro, you're just activating shit. You don't know what you're doing. You're trash! What? You're using both shufflers? This is why it's hard for people to respect you. Nice, you've increased your chance of bricking. Let's grab Calbeck. Well, I'm just gonna Kelbeck this. Would you like to haphazardly activate a random effect to this one as well? Merlee's gonna bring out something, but I'm going to get rid of it with Obliterate. Get close. Chain Obliterate. You are going to be obliterated now. Goodbye. Goodbye, Kit Kalos. May I never see you again, because you are a Oonga Boonga tier player who does not know what they're doing at all.
This guy might surrender. I I, I don't know what bro was cooking over there. <laughs> yep, <Yeah>, goodbye. <laughs> Farewell. I ain't bro, I ain't you're bad. You're bad. That that's the type of people who just copy and paste their deck and just assume it's gonna win. You gotta know what you're doing a little bit, bro. I'm so sorry. I'm so guys. <laughs> You had to wait a whole week to watch this next episode, and I know, I know, I know, it's just the best Yu-Gi-Oh! series on the internet, and you know, having to wait an entire week to get to the next episode every time, every single time, it's just not fair. But dry your tears, because the Stone Tablet series hath returned. If you're new here, I always gotta explain just in case. There's a whole playlist of these episodes. Basically what I do, I pull a random minifigure from here and then whatever I get, I have to make a deck with that figure. And it's actually kind of funny if you look at this, the whole top row is done and we've also done Jinzo, Joey, and that means the only three left are these three, which is a little concerning because anytime I get a dupe now, well, dupes are just gonna be a lot more common. So there could be, God, what I'm dreading is I run out of these figures and I keep getting dupes and like, what if what if Target stops selling them? Oh man, I, I might need to just buy them out. But nevertheless, ah, opening this up the true way they're meant to be opened with sword. Actually don't do this because uh, I don't wanna be liable for you chopping your finger off. All right, our next stone tablet is without further ado, <laughs> We've already done this. Dupe claws, Joey wheel it. We already kicked people's keister. All right, I canonically only have five more of these, so there's a chance we keep getting dupes, man. All right, next one. Don't be a dupe. Sagi. <laughs> oh no. Come on, come on. We gotta, we gotta put something dramatic on now because. <laughs> oh no. Come on. All right, just don't be dupes, man. I want to record an episode. I want to record an episode. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Yes! Yes! Red Eyes Black Dragon! And again, I have to let everyone know and prove that it's not sponsored because once again, once again, for the third or fourth time this has happened, it's just all black. Bro, his name is Red Eyes Black Dragon. This is just Black Dragon. All right, well, nevertheless, we got Red Eyes and luckily, luckily, who am I kidding? I'm not prepared. All right, I'm gonna whip up a Red Eyes deck and actually my editor wanted to see if I could cook with Red Eyes. You can do it. I don't know. <laughs> we gonna find out. And he gonna edit it. So uh, I'll see you when the deck is made. All right, the Red Eyes Bird deck has been created. It's gonna be a little weird too. It's actually the next day. I recorded that intro yesterday because that was recorded on the 4th of July. Wow, fire. But with that said, it took me a while to build the deck. By the time I finished that, you know, the festivities had begun. So I was like, I guess I'll push the recording to tomorrow, which is why I decided to put the same shirt on so it wasn't too jarring for you. But I have to admit something. Look at this deck. You're gonna see, it looks weird, okay? This deck is not built for the Oonga Boonga back and forth punching. It is built around getting this guy out and blowing my opponent up with Inferno Fire Blast. Now, if you look at this card, the materials it needs is a Red Eyes monster and a level six dragon monster. So the beauty of that is we get to run the Bistules. They're level six dragons. It's just perfect. It helps us keep up with some of the scary decks out there. And there's also a chance our opponent could be playing the Bistule cards, which means they are all super poly targets. So our main objective with this deck is to <laughs> incinerate our opponent. Look, I have a confession to make. Because I built the deck yesterday, I took my phone to, you know, do the 4th of July festivities, but before everything got going, I played a few games on mobile, you know, just to get acclimated with the deck, but God, I wish I recorded it because I pulled off the unthinkable and I'm just gonna show you. I need you guys, look, see, and, and I can just show you what the deck is capable of. This is a replay from a duel that I did yesterday with the deck. I need you guys, I need you guys to see it. This is what the deck can do. <laughs> I'm going turn one and I already have game in my hand. Usage rate 0.001% by the way. Combine these two to form. Meteor Black Comet Dragon, it comes out, what does it do? I throw away a Red Eyes card and then it inflicts half the attack points as damage. Infernal Fire Blast, damage. And Infernal Fire Blast, damage, FTK. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, oh, if I don't pull that, I, I had to show it just in case I don't pull it off in the video, man. But it's so funny. Like, <laughs> that guy was probably like, oh, it's Red Eyes, free win. And then, uh, 
Yeah, free for me. I have two variants of this deck. This one is the burn deck that I'm going to be playing at first because obviously you see what it's capable of and how funny it can be. We have red eyes burn in this deck, which basically if a red eyes card is destroyed, both of us take damage equal to the red eyes cards attack points, which is why I'm running torrential tribute. So, you know, I could blow up my own card and then potentially also have this and incinerate my opponent bunch of draw cards to make sure that we actually draw into the combo and then again the bestial card so i mean pretty standard here for the red eye slash deck it's a little different as you can see we have to include some warriors into it that could uh potentially be attached to our red eye slash dragon who i think is a super cool card so they're two different decks i'm gonna see if i can get a win with both of them uh but we're gonna start with the burn one because as you saw the potential that the deck has is very high but it's also very bad i mean there's a lot of bricks in this deck i'm gonna go first just in case but really all i need is if i get two inferno fire blasts in any way to get out meteor comet dragon or whatever then i just win especially if they don't have any interruptions all right so we have red eyes burn allure of darkness card of stone redstone okay i'm gonna start with cards of the redstone this is kind of like pot of greed except not nearly as good you uh discard one red eyes draw two he has no interruptions love to hear that we have one infernal fire blast i will send a card away just to mill out the deck a little bit we're gonna send this away all right then we're gonna allure of darkness hope we get something good red eyes okay red eyes inside is really good and we're actually gonna banish this all right so we don't have game but we are going to inflict some pain <laughs> laugh track all right so we're gonna play red eyes insight god i wish this could search out infernal fire blast but i guess that would make it like too broken we're gonna send this away and we are just gonna grab we already have a red eyes burn and i'll only need one i'm just gonna grab this red eyes fusion which i'm not even gonna play actually i should have grabbed the other red eyes burn now that i think about it we're actually gonna do it this way so black metal dragon as long as i get one black metal dragon i have a guaranteed way to get out uh the meteor black dragon activate black metal dragon in the grave and we are i guess we could just grab this no 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 we need this we need this grab darkness metal dragon and then special summon it by banishing this activate and bring out black metal dragon again because this is not a once per turn card any card that's not once per turn is crazy activate black metal dragon i'm gonna grab a second red eyes burn just in case we are gonna activate preta plant verte anaconda take 2k damage to bring out meteor black drago ha! activate inflict a little damage we're gonna send that away boom then we're gonna activate inferno fire blast to do 3500 damage <laughs> set two red eyes burn so if you destroy my this is just a ticking time bomb now if you destroy this you will simply lose and this deck has not been optimized yet like i'm still thinking about it as i play like if i were to have i don't know should i run multiple torrential tributes to make sure i can pop this do i just play self-destruct potion there, there's a lot of options but like for example if he plays right geki right here i just win i could get kaiju though if i get kaiju i will be of the depression fire formation ancient warriors i am scared i don't know exactly what these guys do i have to hope that either they punch this thing to destroy it that's the best case scenario because damage step i could activate this in damage step you guys don't know Yu-Gi-Oh terms and there's a lot of cards that can't activate so if he had a negate for example he wouldn't be able to activate it in response to uh in response to red eyes burn so literally i just need him to de to destroy this man it's just this is a bomb on the field it's a bomb on the field please bro but how strong are you oh you're almost strong enough come on just get a little stronger come on maybe i should have put it in defense mode yes 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 wait what what yes activate but what what why can't I, why can't I activate Red Eyes Burn? Why wasn't I able to activate? Did he do something that prevents that? Oh, yes. Anyway, goodbye. You lose. You lose. Goodbye. Sayonara. I got scared, but truly I was just better all along. I was just better all along. <laughs> the Red Eyes Burn deck is 
kind of nasty, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I was I was racking up some on mobile because again, I, w I wasn't home to record, but I was racking up some dubs with this, man. I know editor happy. I know he salivating at the bit looking at this. He's a red eyes man. Now I will at least try one or two with a red eye slash dragon. As you can see this, this the burn variation of this, and this is unoptimized red eyes. Uh, I didn't mention that earlier, but in case you guys, well, I know you're watching this in the future. Again, this is recorded July uh, 5th right now. And I bring that up to say, I bring that up to say, I don't know if there's been new red eyes uh, support dropped since uh, the recording of this. Like there's a red eyes alternative dragon. There's like a uh, red eye soul or something like that. There's a lot of red eyes cards that are currently not in master duel as of July 5th. So, uh, and these are super pre-recorded. So, uh, yeah, keep that in mind. Let's start with Black Metal Dragon. I'm guessing he has a super polymerization. Let's turn this into Strike a Dragon. Get out of my face. And it is super poly. Bistro Magnum Hut's actually really good with this deck too because it searches out any of my dragons that I need during the end phase, so. Could come in handy. Also against this uh, Despia Fool, I'm sure it's going to come in handy. We are just going to add Vanilla. Actually, we'll add Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon. And since I know his hand is clear now, we are going to card of the Red Stone. Send it away to draw two. Ugh. Damn it. Damn it. My luck. My luck stat is not as high this time. Do I want to to mill out my deck a little bit? Nah, I'm not going to, because I think I want to draw level seven red eye so I could use this again. I wish this wasn't once per turn. All right, I'm actually going to just set and end here because I want to force him into maybe having to banish his own card because what a lot of Despia players or people who play Mirror J do is they'll banish their own card just so they get um, Albion into the grave. All right, yeah, we are going to call by that. You ain't getting no bestials, buddy. If bestial Magnum Hut gets uh, banished, then so be it. I'm sure it will. Gonna banish his Fallen of Albaz. And now his whole graveyard is pretty much clear, of monsters at least. Gonna put this in defense mode and basically try to convince him to use Mirror Jade's effect. Activate this. So that way, at the start of our next turn, we'll have whatever dragon we need. Because yeah, you, you'll banish me I'll take some damage, but uh, overall, I like what I get out of this uh, out of this exchange. And I don't have to worry about this pesky banish effect next turn. All right, we are just gonna add. Well, we want to mill out our deck probably, so I'm gonna add just a vanilla red eyes because that's be a level seven red eyes that I send away with cards of the redstone, and just hope I don't draw another vanilla red eyes. Don't. Thank you. Ooh, that's good. That's good. I like I like the trajectory of this. All right, so I'm actually gonna do Red Eyes Fusion first. I'm doing this first because I wanna mill up my deck even more so I make sure I have a higher chance of drawing uh, another Infernal Fire Blast. Because if I do, I can just win the game. Meteor Black Comet Dragon, activate. Oh, damn, that scared me. I was like, is that a... There's no way that's a negate. <laughs> Please say it ain't so. All right, we are gonna send away our last... Uh, you know what? Let's send away one of these to do a little more damage. Then we are going to card of the red stone. And this is where all the money is made. I need one more infernal fire blast. Oh, damn it. But we got a super poly. I'm not mad at super poly. I think super poly wins us the game too. All right. Uh, infernal fire blast. Why can't I use his as material? Because that card sucks, that's why. Oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Ladies and fellas, I regret to inform you that I forgot. Red Eyes Fusion seems like such a good card, but what sucks about it is you can't summon anything else after you've played it. Oh no. Okay, Red Eyes Insight. We're just gonna have to maximize on what we can do with what we got. Yes, we grab Red Eyes Burn, even though our card is surely going to be banished. I'm gonna set this. Set this. I don't want to attack this right now because it'll blow up my field end phase. And I would love that if I already had this in play or if I could activate it the turn that it will set. But unfortunately, that is not the case. Damn, I just... Oh, my God. You know what I'll do? Oh, I'll take the plunge. I'll take the plunge. I'd rather destroy it and just get banished than, you know, just letting him keep this card. What? Oh, 
I forgot. Infernal Fire Blast doesn't let Red Eyes attack. We're seeing the weaknesses, baby. We're seeing the weaknesses. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, yeah, fair, fair, fair enough. All right, and I think I need to activate Super Poly before he activates this. I just turned Toggle to on, it might be too late. Before he activates, okay, okay. Oh, this is perfect, this is perfect. Because he can't respond to Super Poly, so I could still be in the clear. Whatever he brings out, I'm gonna activate Super Poly, we're gonna get rid of both. He can't respond with Mirror Jade, and then Mirror Jade's effect will destroy Red Eyes and Phase, and then I'll win the game. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Gotta do it now. Gotta do it now. Gotta do it now. We gotta do it now. Ratio, I'll be having lots. Dragostapalia. And that might have just won us the game. That might have just won us the game, baby. Yeah, destroy all monsters end phase. That's fine. That's fine. Do it. Ain't nobody scared of this pony. My little pony, you're gonna get blown up. No. Oh, damn. Bro, you're, my whole field was going to get destroyed. Why, why are you running, bro? The only thing that I hate about pre-recording these, man, is I want y'all to see this like, it's July 5th. I want y'all to see this July 6th, bro. I want y'all to gas me up. I'm making red eyes work in this modern economy. What? And this is before it has like new support. I don't know if it's going to get like more support, but I know the TCG has support that Master Duel doesn't. So it's just a matter of time before this video becomes outdated, but it's working now. Imagine me with the support. Let's start with, if he has Ash Blossom, I think I would rather him Ash Blossom, Red Eyes Insight, because the Fist Shield stuff could keep me alive. But if he doesn't have anything, then I'm more than okay with that. Magnum Hut! The only issue is if I play, you know what, I'll save Magnum Hut. So this is not gonna be an OTK of any sort, but you know, I showed you all the replay. It can happen. Boom. Ancient Warriors again. How am I? Bro, I never run into this deck, and now I've run into it twice. Ultimate Slayer. Send one monster. Uh, talk about, uh, shuffle it into the deck. So it ain't so. Oh! I didn't even know you had an animation. This card is really cool. I know I read it for, like, the first time, but, you know, I've, I've seen that card before. Uh, draw a card. Okay. Do I just lose? Do I get OTK'd here? Is this where our hero falls? I just, I just, I just hope I can survive. I just don't think I will. <laughs> I think I'm cooked. Ultimate Slayer kind of cooked me. It's what I would say if I thought I was cooked at all, pussy. I'm not cooked. You are. Get rid of this Garura. Bro, please let it resolve. You can't. Yeah. What are you going to do? Called by, bro, there's only one Magnum Hut. There's only one Magnum Hut. I got scared. Thank God I didn't target one of mine. If I would have targeted one of mine, he could have got rid of it. Defense mode. Rotsy, I'll be activating that. Wait, what? We're not in it. This game is over. <laughs> oh, that's kind of good. That's kind of a good card. Hold on, what's the math here? Wait, shit. Oh, shit. I helped him win. I would have survived, actually. I would have survived. I would have survived by 100. <laughs> But I did three. You know, one more with the burn variant, and then I'll probably just do one with the slash variant, man. Bro's name is Muda 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 Muda. Bro, all these branded players, bro. You're on brand for being a non-creative bitch. I'm still being patient here. I need to wait to see what this board looks like. Surely, just Mirror Jade players aren't creative. They just do what the internet tells them to do. Shocker. Now I will activate Ball Drake. We'll save Magnum Hut for something else. I'm sure I'm just going to get banished. Magnum Hut is going to be for when he sends away Albion, which I'm sure he's going to do. Because again, it's just textbook. They're not going to do anything that surprises you. All right. Well, consider me uh, incorrect. Nicely played, Muda 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 Muda. I will activate one for one. One for one, part... I forgot it had to be a monster. I thought I could send away one of these red-eyes fusions. I have made a dire error, anyway. Black Metal Dragon, and I might have just thrown this game. I'm not gonna lie, because now I can't even play this because I've summoned. It's the only thing that sucks about this card. 
You know what? I know. I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. He's going to make a mistake, not me. I've already made my mistake for the duel. I'm not making another. Strike out, Drago. Bro, banish me. Hurry up. Mm, no. God, I hate when these players think that they're smart, but really they're just like not stupid. I have to convince him to use this banish effect, man. Because my goal <laughs> now, if I can get this little nasty thing out, bro, I could uh, I could super poly over his cards. But I need to get past this banish effect because I know they'll just banish if I turn it into a uh, verte anaconda. It's looking like an L, though. I'm not going to lie. Okay. He just doesn't want to banish anything. Okay. Fair enough. Why'd I set this? I Okay. All right. You know what? Let's try the red-ass slash variant. Why did I set that when I was supposed to banish uh, the card that was in the graveyard at that very moment? Who knows? <laughs> Laugh to cover up pain. Red Eye Slash, this variant, I don't really need to go over too much. It's kind of similar, has some bestial cards. What we're going to be trying to do, though, is our main ace is going to be getting out Red Eye Slash. We attach it with Nasty Warrior, Stanky Warrior, Scary Warrior. Pretty similar, just, you know, a little different. We have some extra equipped spells thrown in here, like uh, Red Eye's thing with chain is actually really good i was thinking of running this at like honestly now that i'm shit at three shit what am i doing three of them tanks i'm taking this out i don't even need that you know what i might take this out too i'm gonna take out one of these yeah that's what i'm gonna do yup 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 this is the deck this is the deck it's never gonna lose watch this I'm only laughing because, please, take a gander at my fusion material. Red Eyes Black Dragon and one warrior. That means I simply have to get a meaningless Red Eyes onto the field and then... You are fucked. Or I'll probably just super poly, you know, whatever you leave on your end board and uh, make you cry. But until then, Marv, I'll be over here. Looking this way, editor, <laughs> mask motion. Until this turn is over. Brief intermission in this uh, fast motion. This guy is still playing. This guy's still playing. Not realizing that I'm just going to ruin his day. <laughs> 12 cards in the graveyard and you have one, two, three. You still have five cards in your hand. What, what's good? This is not your end board. I am sick. There is no way that you made me sit that long for this to be your end board. Just for me to play one card and ruin your entire day. Oh, DP. I, I wouldn't even look. Okay, DP. Ah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> Ah, you could Sharen. Now, what you could do is Sharen. Uh, yeah, I'll be having those. Hurry up, so I can hurry up and like ruin your day or whatever, man. I'll activate the Bestial Lubellion. I will grab Magnum Hut, 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 Hi, Magnum Hut. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and activate Magnum Hut. We're gonna banish this. I don't know what it does, but it looks scary. You got the whole fucking A team on there, so I'm just gonna get rid of that just in case. You know, <laughs> I ain't reading it, but I'm gonna get rid of it. All right, I'm gonna bring out Magnum Hut. Activate Magnum. <laughs> yeah. Hey, y'all all gonna be saying Magnum Hut, 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 Hi, Magnum, Hut. Oh, so you're gonna imper me? <laughs> you think that's gonna save you, partner? A hurt, a hurt, a hurt. Oh, you have no more responses? Damn. Looks like I have to win now. All right. Strike all dragon. Activate black metal dragon. Oh, you have ash too? What do you have? What, you up to something downright devious, ain't you? Let me grab my royal finish red ice darkness metal dragon, bro. Let me go ahead and do that. Get rid of this. Yeah. Activate this. All right, let me actually read this. What, what, what does that do? He has something that could activate when I went into my extra deck. Like there was a delay there. I don't know what it was though. You know what, just to be safe, just to be safe, let's start with this. Feliz anima. Feliz anima. Feliz anima. Relinquished anima's gonna steal your card. Feliz anima. Feliz anima. Relinquished anima's gonna take your card belongs to me now that is game but i said i'm gonna bring out slash dragon and i've never been a liar i've never been somebody who lies to the public i've never been somebody who lies to the public 
I will finish you off the way that I want to finish you off, partner. By sending away my red ice fusion. I call forth red ice slash dragon. Yes, red eyes insight. Just because I am BMing you now. Thoughts? You have Ash Blossom? What are you, what are you doing over there, bro? I am here to ruin your day. I am here to ruin your day. You were playing elemental heroes and you took so fucking long. But I had Super Polly. I had Super Polly. There's the rhythm. I had Super Polly and I yoinked all of your cards off the field. You had a mask chain, but it didn't work. Cause Super Poly ruins your day. You cannot activate cards in response to it. And then I beat your ass. Finally, the next Stone Tablet series. What's the Stone Tablet series, Siri X? I'd be glad to tell you. Basically the Stone Tablet series is I pull from one of these random minifigures and they're standing on like stone tablets, hence the name stone tablet series. And then I have to build a deck with uh, whatever card that I pull or whatever stone tablet that I pulled. So far, we've done the entire top row and the entire bottom row other than Summit Skull and Kaiba. Now, it's actually been a really long time since I've last recorded one of these since the beginning of July, and now it's the beginning of September. So I was that pre-recorded out, and I actually had the next episode, the one you're about to watch right now, pre-recorded, uh, but then my computer blew up and I lost all my footage. So you didn't get to see me open the last one, so let's just pretend uh, I open this sword sound effect. And uh, oh, you just saw it. Peekaboo. Sensor editor. Summon skull. Uh, yeah, I pulled this early July, but then again, I lost the footage. So a lot has changed since the last time I recorded a stone tablet series, specifically the meta. Castira is a thing now, and um, it's very annoying. So I'm going to have to try to cook Castira throughout this uh, thing, and we're going to have to try to do it with Summon Skull, who, by the way, has probably the best art um in terms of all the stone tablets that i've gotten so far probably the best looking one in my opinion yet yeah, it just looks so clean which does mean we only have kaiba next and that's gonna be annoying because i'm just gonna have to keep pulling these until i pull uh kaiba which is gonna be a one in 10 chance because there's 10 of these things so uh you're gonna have to stay tuned for the next episode for that there's gonna be a playlist linked in the description but for now it's time to build Summon Skull the deck and go into ranked and probably get depressed because we're going to be dueling against crazy stop man. But let's go. All right, we have two deck builds. We have Summon Skull Dark World, which is the best version of my Summon Skull deck. It's just a little laughable because you only see one Summon Skull in here, but it's very capable of bringing out all of the variations of Summon Skull. So Summon Skull has a fusion variation, which is Archfiend's Manifestation. It has an Archfiend's Call, which is the Synchro variation, Archfiend's Ascent, which is the Exceed, and then the worst of them all, we have a Ritual variation, Archfiend's Awakening. This one is the worst because uh, there's no way to search out uh, like the Ritual spell because it just uses Contract with the Abyss. And Pre-Preparation of Rites is a card that would normally help in this situation, but Contract with the Abyss doesn't mention Archfiend's Awakening in its text, so it actually just doesn't work. So we're just gonna have to hope we luck out and get this, but nevertheless, Dark World works really well with this because basically what we can do, as long as Lucent gets discarded by our opponent's card effect, which we can make happen by getting Cerulee discarded and, you know, play it on their side of the field, makes me discard a card, boom, it makes me discard Lucent. And Lucent can actually special summon from my deck any Fiend that I want along with itself. So Lucent would come out along with Summon Skull. They're both level sixes. And then we could go into the Exceed, or the more optimal play would be to bring out like Chaos Hunter because so many decks, especially Kashdira, they thrive on banishing. So Chaos Hunter is a staple in just about all my decks these days uh, because it just stops them from banishing and going crazy. Then obviously we just have standard Dark World stuff like, you know, Overlord, Graffa, and Rain Bull. We also have Chaos Angel, which is one of the strongest cards in the game. It's just un affected by all monster effects, as long as you use a light and a dark monster to create it, which is why I fabled Raven, who's a light fiend. You can discard cards and then, uh, uh, obviously that helps Dark World to discard cards. And then, yeah, this is pretty much the Summon Skull deck. We're gonna be trying to get out all the variations. And the other Summon Skull deck I had is a more pure Summon Skull deck, which basically just focuses on bringing out the Summon Skull support 
uh doesn't have all the dark world stuff every card in here is just basically built around trying to get out uh the summon skull supports and it also has some funny little gimmicks like falling down which uh is like snatch steel uh, you know what i'm saying and yeah it just has like archfiend stuff so it's more pure to summon skull i suppose but um yeah hopefully we don't have to cross this bridge because this deck isn't nearly as good and i just threw two regekis in because every time summon skull attacks in the anime uh yuki says lightning strike so this will we'll, you know headcanon we're gonna be jumping in with dark world first wish me luck the time has come for me to go into the fires of ranks but not alone summon skull is going to cook with his cousins dark world and dark world is probably gonna carry most of the time <laughs> but the goal is to bring out four or however many variations of summon skull there are all the variations i'm talking about the exceed variation i'm talking about the synchro variation i'm talking about the bloody fusion variation and even the worst of them all the ritual variation thank god it's not in our starting hand i think the dark world engine can do pretty well in bringing out all of the variations uh and again my goal is to bring them all out before the duel ends oh you crazy okay? or not the duel i'm sorry let me rephrase that the goal is to bring them all out before the video ends oh is he playing castira i'm gonna wait because if i bring out chaos hunter now he might just try to play around it i'm gonna see what he's playing okay all right he is playing Kashira as expected. I'm gonna activate Chaos Hunter now. We're gonna send away one of our fabled ravens and bring out Chaos Hunter. This is exactly why you're here, Chaos Hunter. Doing your job, preventing all this banishing nonsense from Kashira. And let's cook. Deru. Card destruction, A. Special summon one Kashira. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. Kashira can't do nothing against Chaos Hunter. It's a little risky. A little risque even no it's not i'm gonna play fabled raven come on come on player come on you know you're about to lose now what fabled raven does is he can discard as many cards as i want from my hand and for every single card that i discard he gains a level he's also a light tuner and you just go out to see where this goes if it's imperm i could be in trouble but if it's imperm i would assume he would hit chaos hunter right we're gonna send away lucent as well as a do i want to get rid of dark fusion i don't want to get rid of card destruction i have to get rid of two though i'll get rid of dark fusion all right goes up to level four and then lucent will special summon itself chaos hunter lucent's gonna hit the field and he's gonna banish something but which one does he banish mistake mistake partner because all you've done is make me mad fabled raven Lucent, combine to create Chaos Angel, who can banish a card on your side of the field. You see, get rid of it. Goodbye. Don't ever talk to me again. Chaos Angel, punch, mink. All you've done is piss me off. Unaffected, by the way. This card is crazy because it's unaffected by all monster effects and it can't be destroyed by battle because I used a light and a dark card. Oh, see, now I got to beat your ass. <laughs> Actually, I can't yet. So instead, I'm simply going to Falcon punch, Droll and lock. <sighs> More like suck my cock. All right, I'm gonna activate Genta in the hand. We're just gonna mill out one of our gates of Dark World. I'm just gonna play it now to boost up my Chaos Angel to 3,800 in case 35 was too easy to get over. Chaos Angel is canonically Summon Skull's mother, by the way. See, Summon Skull, that's your mom right there. You see, you see, like there's the light energy in one hand and the dark energy in one hand you were born in the dark energy bro that's you that's you right there zoom in editor yeah that's summon skull being born baby summon skull oh my god oh the worst one man i don't like this one but at least it's something i can discard it's unfortunate it's unfortunate that it has to just be the card that i discard but it is what it is send it away dedu genta will activate what are you gonna target oh no now he's gonna surrender now he's gonna surrender he thought he thought he could hit this but it's already banished it's already banished partner you're too late you're too late oh no i can't use archfiend's awakening my one of what will i do against it's the field this might be a waste but i'm gonna card destruction now send away brow draw one and then brow's gonna let me draw another one give me something good another genta would you look at that wait i could just normal summon this Oh, he's going to surrender now. Yeah, I called it. 
I could sense it in the air. He had no options and I was getting stronger and stronger. Yeah. All right, that first duel, we didn't get out any of your variations, buddy, but we're gonna do that now. We're gonna do that now. It's always, like I always get ritual card support. It never fails. Luckily, I am genius because look, Triple Tactics Talent, even if he doesn't activate anything, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna make him activate something. Big dubs. It net bro. This like it. It's, you gotta be kidding me. You you just you just have to be joking me. It just has to be a joke. There's just no way. All right, let's see. Let's see if my opponent has anything in their hand first. Let's reveal Lucent. He has Maxi. Of course, when I oh my god, you gotta be you gotta be kidding me, man. You've got to be kidding me. All right, we're gonna special summon a Catalyzer. Lucent's gonna special summon itself. Unless you have a Bistro card, in which case I will be Depression. Why do I always get the Ritual card in my starting hand? I want y'all to know what I could make. I could bring out. Y'all saw what Chaos Angel is capable of. This is what I could bring out as long as I just discard the two cards in my hand. But I made a promise. That I would uh, bring out all the variations of Summon Skull. So here we go. Archfiend's Call. Oh, hold on. At least, though, at least we can bring out two things of Summon. Just to say that I did it. All right. We got the Synchro variation out. Boom. We are about to get destroyed, by the way. This is not optimal for this deck, but Summon Skull. Hey, man, you're here. Look, that's you, buddy. See, its name is Summon Skull now. Magic. Wow. I think I just lose. I don't have much confidence going into this game but hey two variations of summon skull axc check synchro variation check and it's castira it's time to lose let's go oh uh, uh, a two. Oh man i just sneezed all over the play mat oh man i don't know why it says you surrendered editor cross that out and write you sneezed because i just sneezed bro that's all it was all right i guess we just have to go to the next duel all right two variations of summon skull done Let's see if we can just get the fusion and the ritual out and maybe even the vanilla. We can for sure get the vanilla out. This is starting to get annoying. <laughs> Every single duel, I get at least one of these stupid ritual cards. Every time. Fable the Raven, let's activate it. Send away Lucent. I want to get rid of this, but I need to get the ritual variation out at some point in this video. So I guess I'm going to hold on to it and just hope. I'm going to hold on to tactics, I guess. So we'll send away that. That's it. Activate Lucent. Lucent comes out and we're just going to have to do Chaos Angel Pass, which is actually not terrible. Don't be a trap heavy deck. Come on, T-Dog. That's it. That's your big turn. That's your big turn card destruction i don't know what is going on this deck doesn't usually brick like this i have like of my all my cards there's like just the line at the bottom of spells and traps everything else is like monsters what what's good ring of destruction in 2023 you have got to be cheating me i'm just gonna do it i need i need to pick up two cards man Hope I get something decent. That is better than what I had. But then the ritual play is out of the question now. I guess we can just go for the fusion. Banish Genta. Yep, because if Genta's banished, it can come back. Discard Brow. Summon Skull. The vanilla variant. Yeah, sure, man. I really wanted to see you. Wait, activate a monster effect? <gasps> Hold on. Why did you banish my Chaos Angel? I could have brought that back, actually. I just didn't want you to know. Wait. Uh, 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 uh. Draw two. Okay. More of nothing, but hopefully we can draw into something better. This time we're going to banish Rao and we'll discard Graffa. Yes, that's good. That's good. Graffa will pop the back row and we'll play Snow. All right, if I'm going to pry to plant, then I might as well use Graffa to return this. Now I will pry to plant Verte Anaconda onto the field. And now I will activate pry to plant Verte Anaconda. Hey, 2000, this is super risky. Send away Dark Fusion just to bring out Archfiend's Manifestation over pry to plant and Summon Skull. 
it should be 3500 because it gets plus 500 for each summon skull and then 500 or 300 so 3300 i meant yeah beat that partner that is all of the summon skull variations checked off the list other than the ritual we just need the ritual and then we're good this is this is you know it's a floater it gets destroyed summon skull vanilla comes out yeah you better be you better watch out who the fuck is this guy gains attack equal to the original attack Oh, equal to half. What are you playing? Bro, I would never lose to this deck outside of this stupid challenge. You know what? No. Think happy thoughts. Think happy thoughts. Vanilla Summon Skull is going to come out and cook. Okay. Okay. I thought King Tet Magician was on its way out. Oh, this? That's your big play. What are you, an idiot? All right. Destroys my Summon Skull, but that brings out my true authentic the one sitting on my head the vanilla shaman skull stand right before the dark magicians we do not fear them what are you gonna do crap crashing would be bad he would win the game <laughs> he wins the game if he crashes end your turn 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 please end your turn please no he's, he's you're dumb you're dumb you got lucky i put my card in attack mode instead of defense mode oh what a mistake now he can bring out dark magician and dark magician girl <gasps> what special summon both one dark Ma oh it's banished oh i got so scared I was ready to surrender. I'm not even gonna lie. You banished Dark Magician Girl, so you can't bring it out. You fool. Terra hidden the si hit. What? You have sub terror support. What is your deck? I'm sorry, bro, but I think I think I got no choice but to beat your ass. All right, Genta. Search out another one of these gates. Genta will go away, and then I will discard. Oh, this is risky. I'll discard Cerule, I guess. Okay, it paid off. It paid off. Now I think I win. Now I think I just win. This took way longer than it needed to, but I was going for these stupid challenges and it's gonna get even worse because now I want to get out the ritual stuff. Cerule gonna force me to discard this. This is gonna activate and this is gonna grab Lucent. And then I will special summon Cerule on my opponent's side of the field in attack mode so I can punch it. Gonna activate gonna make me discard a lucent lucent is going to hit the field and special summon from my deck i guess i could bring out chaos hunter i have options it doesn't really matter then i can return uh genta to my hand my opponent might surrender pretty soon would not blame him i'm just gonna normal summon this just so i can bring out grapha on top of that could do chaos archfiend muck raker right here activate we're gonna bring out fabled raven and discard salamander i guess and then chaos archfiend it's the field with a bolsterous 5000 attack this is summon skull's cousin and now i could just start beating the brakes off of my opponent chaos archfiend can attack every single card my opponent controls boom activate salamander come back to my hand Good night, adios. I don't know what you were playing, but now the true challenge begins because I need to bring out the ritual variation. We've got out the synchro, we got out the exceed, we got out the fusion. Now we just need the ritual. Fate, you decide what I need for the ritual. All right, Fate, you think I should go second? All right, you say so. Maxi, you no, know I'll make you deck out. You think I care? She. Nice Maxi, man. You did great. You did great. You did great. I didn't want to do it, but because I only need a hey, rank up, because I only need one variation of Summon Skull, which is the ritual, I'm going to bring out the Summon Skull deck. This one is notably worse, but it can search out Archfiend cards so I can at the very least search out the summon skull ritual archfiend's awakening it's a pretty cool deck it's just not nearly as good as the one that you just saw but hey you know what we'll see what happens all right as you can see we still have chaos hunter which is just super important in any fiend deck just considering the meta nowadays with uh with castira spoke it into existence chaos hunter is gonna say no to castira for the turn i'm gonna send away fiendish rhino warrior i'm pretty sure chaos hunter just says no to dimension shifter 
But we're about to find out because fiendish rhino warrior is going to activate and send a card to the graveyard unless dimension shifter actually works so i'm going to send away archfiend eres yep it works archfiend eres is the card that will search out an archfiend card for me and reluctantly i am going to grab not the optimal card but the necessary card archfiend's awakening and again what sucks is just that it's spell to come out doesn't mention this card on it so that's why i can't use like pre-preparation of rights or anything like that for this we might be able to beat this guy we might be able to Ooh, our snatch steal as long as we control an archfiend card we don't have an archfiend card at the moment though all right i'm just gonna set ghastly glitch yeah i'm just gonna rag geki that was summon skull that was summon skull's attack lightning strike and then i'm just gonna attack should i get rid of this special summon one that's banished i could stop this i'm gonna let it go i'm gonna use this during the battle phase perhaps another castira spell probably another castira birth card should be limited at one in my opinion but you know who am i rise heart can't do anything at the moment so i'm not scared of rise heart because it needs to look at the top cards of my deck in banish but you cannot do that he's probably thinking on whether he wants to crash or not with unicorn oh end phase Okay, during the end phase, I'll activate Ghastly Glitch. I'm going to destroy Castira Birth this time. Unless you have Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom actually stops this because it sends a card from my deck to the graveyard. So Ash Blossom would actually... Oh, Maxi, you are, you're, you're just bad at the game. This is why you play Castira. It all makes sense now. And then I'm going to send away another Fiendish Rhino Warrior. And then Rhino Warrior is going to send away another Archfiend Eris. And then Archfiend Eris will search out an Archfiend card. Deru. Oh, that's perfect. All right, now we get to cook. But again, we just don't have the ritual spell. So I can use this. I can use Falling Down. The deck looks good right now, but I promise Chaos Hunter is carrying. <laughs> Tour Guide from the Underworld. Activate. Special Summon. I'll bring out Rhino Warrior. And now I can Special Summon Wheeliter. And now I can bring out Archfiend's Call. Activate Wheeliter. Destroy his Rise Heart. All right, the deck looks really good right now. I'm not going to lie. Just, it looks really good. But it's not, I promise. I'm going to target this. We are going to banish Rhino Warrior. And we are going to bring out Summon Skull. Yes! And now we will cook you, Chaos Hunter. Summon Skull. Lightning Strike. I forgot its name halfway through. Oh, but I can't get this ritual card, man. I gotta like, I, I, how can I get this more consistently? I wish there was, and there might be one. Is there a Verte Anaconda except for ritual cards? Like that does the same thing, but for rituals. But I need this. I'm just gonna have to keep playing until I get this ritual spell. I can't believe I beat Castier with this deck. I'm not gonna lie. Again, Chaos Hunter, man. I'm letting you guys know right now, start playing this card. If you are one of the heroes out there who have to be against the evil that is Kashtira, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Just throw three Chaos Hunters into your deck. Well, maybe not three. It depends on what deck you're playing, but Chaos Hunters clutch. I'm gonna play Tour Guide. Hope we don't get ashed. If we do get ashed, then I will be ashy and cry. We got ashed. I am now ashy and now I am crying. <laughs> Tear laments. Haven't seen you in a while. Bro, go away. I hate this card, brother. Bro, okay, you got it. Just because anytime I see a punk card, I am 95% sure gonna leave. Not because it's broken, but I just know that the extension of the turn is going to be ridiculous. Just give me the exact ingredients I need for the ritual. And he gave me none of them. Castira, Castira, Castira. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? We're gonna crash. And then use Archfiend's Call to mill out the Summon Skull, one of our two from the deck. Attack with Summon Skull. Attack with Chaos Hunter. Main fate, you have evenly matched wouldn't work. Evenly matched. But I have Chaos Hunter. Oh, you're making your opponent banish your cards. That's so stupid. What a dumb card. I know it's that still beat. Get out of here, you Castira bum. I, and now we're up against Castira, but we don't have Chaos Hunter. So now we have an uphill battle. And Mind Hacker. I forgot about Mind Hacker. This needs to be banned expeditiously. I just lose. There's, there's nothing I can do here. 
So if I activate anything, he can just banish a, another zone. Let's go tour guide. If you have Ash Blossom, like honestly, God just loves you more. God just loves you more. Yeah, congrats, bro. That's my whole turn. That's my whole turn. What are we up against? Labyrinth or a Floodgate deck? Gingerbread House, what? Oh, brother, what an annoying card. Burn? Really? Who hurt you? I cannot get this ritual spell, man. I can't. I guess I'm just going to BM him since I can't get out the ritual. All right, that was free. Just for the sake of me wanting to end this video, I'm taking out <laughs> both Raigekis. <laughs> now watch as I begin the duel with all three in my hand. I just want to end this recording. I've been recording for over an hour of just duels. I've been doing well. I've been cooking, but man, oh man. I'm trying to be done. That's gonna activate Edis. So I'm gonna grab the ritual monster unless he hits me with Ash Blossom, which would be depressing. Called by you little whore. I just need to draw a ritual spell. I have three in the deck now, please. Please, I just wanna be done with this recording. I know my editor looking at the footage like, oh bro, why is it so long, bro? And I'm like, I'm sorry, bro. It's just the stupid ritual one. Just didn't ever show up for me, man. It just never showed up for me, Scoob. Doesn't negate it, unfortunately, but it does allow us to mill out the deck even more. We're gonna send away Fiendish Rhino Warrior. It's a random one in the hand and that was a good one to hit. Activate Rhino Warrior, send away Eris. And that's gonna activate and get us this. It's still called by. I thought it was called by like two turns ago, but Labyrinth just takes so fucking long that I just don't even know. I should just leave. I, the, the ritual card's not coming out this duel. It's not happening this duel. I just have to start, like I, I might just keep just loading into duels and then surrendering until I get the necessary tools I need. And I never win a coin toss, 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 and I never win a coin toss. I never win a coin toss, 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 I've never won a coin toss, I never win a coin toss, I never win a coin toss. Just give me the ritual stuff, just give me the ritual stuff, just give me the ritual stuff. It just never fails. I have triple tactics, so maybe I'll draw into it depending on what my opponent does, but knowing my luck, he's gonna have a nine fucking hour turn. And it's always Cash Dira. And it's always Cash Dira. Did you guys know it's always Cash Dira? It's always Cash Dira. And Necro Valley. This is an emergency, so I'm teleporting in. Ash Blossom, thank you. Now I can triple tactics talent. Come on, let me draw what I need to draw. Triple tactics. Let me draw what I need to draw. Draw what I need to draw. Come on, baby. That's not what I needed to draw. I'm gonna give it one more chance before I just spam it with a bunch of meaningless ritual stuff where the deck has no intention of winning. It only has the intention of bringing out that stupid ritual monster. Come on. I have three and I haven't seen them once, by the way. Since adding three, I have not seen them once. Why does your ritual variant suck, buddy? Oh my God, play anything but cash to your challenge mission impossible, bro. Holy. All right, come on. Okay, at least we can do it this time, I think, depending on what my opponent does. I just want to be done. I just, why are you playing runic? If you banish, if you banish by one of ritual monster, I'm gonna know something, Konami. I'm gonna know something. I promise I'm gonna know something. 
What are you doing? That's your whole turn. Don't have Ash Blossom. If you, if you have Ash Blossom. He has Ash Blossom. Effect Veiler. Cool. Cool. All right. Finally, the time has come. Bro, what do you have now? All right. I don't give it. I don't care. I don't care. I hate. I hate you. Psychic Wheeliter. Archfiend's Call. Psychic Wheeliter. Destroy. If this thing does anything to stop me, hold, what, what does this do? Special Summon 2. Okay. And when you do that, I got Super Poly for you. I got Super Poly for you. Okay. I'm good now. I can finally bring it out and I can finally put an end to this madness. Hey, a plant earth monster. Hey, a plant earth monster. Time to ruin your day. Archfiend's Awakening. I gotta be careful with this though. I don't wanna make him surrender before I play my card. Finally, <laughs> contract with the abyss. Come forth, Archfiend's Awakening. Oh, and it has to match perfectly too. ass. Awaken my Archfiend, yes. All of this so we can get cooked in the next turn. But we're doing it. Yes, yeah, summon skull, summon skull. If only I got all of them out. That'd be so sick. Yeah, you've already used its effect. So I'm just going to super poly over the ones you haven't used effect. One, two. Garura! And now I will simply lose next turn. But hey, we got him out. And he's going to get a direct attack too, baby. Yeah, yeah. Get your licks in. Yeah. Yeah. At long last, the season finale of the Stone Tablet series has arrived. Tear. <laughs> it has been a hell of a run. If you're new to the Stone Tablet series and you're just landing on the last episode, that's fine. You don't have to watch it in chronological order. Basically, all it is is I've been pulling from one of these random minifigures that come on these little stone stone tablets and basically whichever minifigure i pull i have to build a deck with it and go into master duel ranked uh and see what i can do with it so far i've gone through every single stone tablet except for this guy kaiba yugi i'm gonna kick your ass you little bitch <laughs> despite the fact that i know the only one left is kaiba so theoretically i should just jump in and then just play as kaiba it would be a disservice not to actually pull kaiba so i got a bag full of these and i'm just hoping one of them is kaiba but i'll also be annoyed if like the first one is kaiba and then i just have all these extras anyway my goal is a million subscribers am i at that yet Yu-Gi-Oh viewers make sure you're subscribing so you know i can feel loved and special and hit a million subs before the end of the year. Nevertheless, ah! <sighs> opening this the way they were intended to be open. Just kidding, because I will not be liable for you chopping your finger off. Sword! Yeah! Yeah! The first pull. I just, uh, like, at this point, it's just RNG summons. Please, please just be Kaiba. Ha! It's not, but we have. <laughs> Finally, the correct looking dark magician. I know a lot of people have been saying, oh, the other one wasn't a misprint, it's actually a special edition. I understand that for maybe the blue eyes because it looked cool like the platinum or the Exodia, it's all gold, it's shiny. I simply refuse to believe that this that is the special version. Bad. This looks like a misprint, this looks awful, it looks like a Crayola crayon. The other ones I'll give you, looks like special version, red eyes, the blue eyes, the Exodias. But I'm glad for my collection purposes, I got the correct looking dark magician. But that video's already been done. It's in the description somewhere in the playlist. But that's not what we're here for. Next. Ah! Say, give ah, it a good enough cut. All right. Ah. It'd be a cruel joke if they're all dark magicians. Next. Ah! God, I look so stupid at Target. Cart full of these dumb things. Come on. Ah! It's the correct looking. See, the, the Exodia I got, the Exodia I got definitely looks like a special edition. Like, that is obvious. The Dark Magician looks stupid, but this is the one that I got before. We already did that video. Uh, this one is the correct one, so I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I want Kai below. Come on, Playboy. Come on now. Come on now. Ah! 
Come on now, come on now, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me now. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Let me get you out of that case, buddy. Thank God we actually pulled him. Seto Kaiba looking good from this angle. Looking really stupid from this angle. <laughs> but we got Seto Kaiba, and now we just have to go in there and... <laughs> here finish up our final episode of the stone tablet series it's been a hell of a run but don't worry because i might have some other ideas for Yu-Gi-Oh series that are kind of similar <sighs> coming soon the kaiba stone tablet deck has been completed now i was a little concerned going into this because it's it's weird man we just got like a lot of blue eyes stuff and then i wanted to just throw in some random stuff that kaiba actually used in the series like he used ring of destruction a lot and i know what i'm just gonna address it now some people are gonna be like where is sagi the dark clown i had a whole video where i specifically played three sagis because sagi was one of the stone tablets himself and i've already covered that i already had a video on that um so i i shouldn't be obligated to go through that hell again without sagi obviously i'm also not playing crush card virus because this card sucks it sucks i'm sorry all of these cards are either staples kaiba used or support for staples kaiba used or retrains of staples that kaiba used so obviously we have obelisk so we get the obelisk support thank god that i recorded this after the obelisk support came out that's probably why i got kaiba last it was just destiny he also played chaos emperor dragon so i'm playing the retrained pendulum version of it just because it's a little better you can unbanish cards and stuff like that we have a lot of blue eye support obelisk support crazy extra deck i don't know we're gonna have to see if this deck can cook should be fun i'm through talking loser it's time to show you all what this deck can do you third rate duelists with your fourth rate copy and paste decks because i'm kaiba and i have money Ooh. now i don't know what my opponent is playing but i'm gonna start by activating melody of the awakening drago sending away blue eyes white dragon so i can search out two what if i called it what if you're actually playing labyrinth the only reason i'm saying that is because again lullaby of obedience if i know what my opponent is playing i can basically just pick a card that i know they're playing and then they just have to give it to me they have to be obedient to this guy right here matter of fact editor put me in the card art yes i'll reveal my blue eyes white dragon to summon my blue eyes alternative white dragon and until i know what you're playing i think i'm going to save lullaby of obedience and catch you off guard with it next turn but i have a feeling you're just playing labyrinth you are actually playing Labyrinth. Oh, I should have called it. Oh, that would have been legendary. I think I got something for Labyrinth. I think I got something that can handle Labyrinth pretty well, in fact. Look at Kaiba perched up in my hair, watching as his deck cooks. We're not gonna lose Kaiba. I don't care if it's Labyrinth. I don't care if it's meta. I don't give a damn. All right, I have to play this correctly. Basically, Ultimate Fusion will pop Labyrinth Labyrinth. I guess whenever he activates Welcome Labyrinth is when I will activate Ultimate Fusion. Now here comes the welcome labyrinth. Yep. In response, I activate ultimate fusion. Loser. What did you think? I was just gonna roll over and die from a pathetic card like that. Roar at him, blue eyes. Yeah, yeah. No, but roar at him. No, stop looking at me. Roar at him. No, no. Roar. Why do you keep doing that animation? Do I frame one do this? Do I frame one hit him with this? What would the point be? Can't he just destroy it? This is probably smarter. I'm going to go with the smarter play as much as I don't want to. As much as I want to just go all in on this because it'd be cool. Let's go with the probably smarter play. I'll use my alternative white dragon and one of the blue eyes white dragons in my hand to call forth blue eyes tyrant drago. And then I can also destroy a card on your side of the field, getting rid of your Labyrinth Labyrinth loser. Also, I did destroy a card, so does Jet come out? I think Jet can come out, unless it's a when effect. No, it's an if. If a card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect. Yeah, so I think it can come out. Looks like my opponent's connection is getting a little shaky. Or could that be your knees clacking together in fear? <laughs> loser. Ooh, Yugi Boomer, you better actually play... Bro, you better actually be playing some Yugi Boomer cards. Or you're a fraud. If I see, bro, Labyrinth Sleeves, if you're actually playing Labyrinth, like, honestly, you, you gotta just change your name. You're not Yugi Boomer. Oh, no, you're just a bitch. I'll start by playing my Melody of the Awakening Dragon. Discarding my Soul Energy Max. Add to my hand Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon and Blue Eyes White Dragon. I should have added Jet. Then I'll banish my Soul Energy Max from my grave searching out my god loser 
Then I'll reveal my blue eyes white dragon to summon my blue eyes alternative white dragon. And now I'm gonna see what exactly you might be playing by just attacking with blue eyes alternative. I'm gonna keep it relatively tame for now because any monster that's normally gonna be sent to the graveyard goes to the banished zone instead. In case, in case you didn't know what this was. I know there's some, there's some newbies out there who don't get it, who don't under you lose you played a great game is what i would say if you played a decent game at all but i activate ultimate fusion loser and i'll use all three blue eyes white dragons to call forth my neo blue eyes ultimate dragon yes and i'll destroy your dimensional fissure loser attack that's not all neo blue eyes ultimate dragon can attack again i'll send this card away and attack for game Ah! Yugi Boomer. More like Yugi, bitch. My opponent was so scared he did nothing. Now, I'm going to embarrass you. I play the Melody of Awakening Dragon, loser, and send away my White Stone of Legend. And I'll grab my Chaos Max and my alternative White Dragon. White Stone of Legend will search out a Vanilla Blue Eyes. I'll make you regret ever botting in your life. I'm gonna hit you so hard you revert to a toaster. Ooh. Now I'll activate trade in, sending away my blue eyes to draw two. Then I'll activate my melody of the awakening dragon, sending away my white stone of legend to grab two more cards. Now I'll activate my chaos form loser and I'll banish my blue eyes white dragon to call forth my chaos max dragon loser. Then I'll set the pendulum scale and I'll activate its effect to unbanish my blue eyes white dragon and add it to the hand for no reason other than the fact that it got destroyed. So Jet now comes out. Loser, loser. So many ways I can destroy you. I could bring out Obelisk, but instead I'll just finish you off, I guess. Jet, attack, alternative, attack. Chaos Max, attack. So these are supposed to be master duelists. All I've seen is a couple of scrubs and a robot. Somebody show up with cash tier already. This hand is perfect. Oh, it's runic. I mean, <laughs> you think runic can beat me? You think I'm afraid of runic? Cause I'm not. I just very much detest this deck and hate it. Runic Nature, the standard copy and paste deck combo. I got this deck off of Yu-Gi-Oh Pro looking ass. I'm bad at the game looking ass. I have blue eyes as my profile picture, but I play bitch cards looking ass. All right, I'm pretty sure he gets a, uh, probably gonna bring out that one Nature card that negates spells. I forget its name, but regardless, I think I'm prepared. Oh no, nothing, that's it embarrassing like now 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 i'm just gonna beat your ass like senselessly dictator of d send away a blue eyes white dragon to special summon yourself loser you're gonna negate the activation you sick son of a bitch do you negate and destroy you do meaning i could be in trouble here this deck is ignorant i have an idea so let's set all these let's summon two nature monsters oh just one because i don't have a monster on the field okay Send one Nechiria card from your deck to the graveyard. And that will search a Nechiria card. Oh no. Barkeon. This negates trap effects. But he needs to banish two cards from the graveyard. He has more than enough to just do that infinitely. And it's not once per turn. Super annoying. That does ruin my plans a bit. I almost have to just sit here and wait now and see if I'm ever going to activate Ultimate Fusion. I think he's going to get the other Nature out as well. The one that uh, negates spells. I think I just have to activate this. Didn't want to. Well, now I'm not going to be able to. Ah! I hate Runic. I hate Runic so much. This was more Nature, but anytime I see Runic, I just want to I just want to kill anyway composed like Kaiba. You think one lucky loss is gonna spell the end of me, loser? You've got another thing coming. I'll never lose again. This hand is perfect. This hand is not perfect. 
This head is perfect. Is it 2000 bloody four? Shiranui? I've not seen this deck since the days of Duel Links. I'm gonna beat your ass now. I draw. Perfect. If I had Obelisk in my hand, but I don't. Bingo machine, go! I need a level eight in my hand so I can use trade in, but this can net me a level eight. So I guess it's not that important. Well, let's just go with some of these. Maybe ultimate fusion, actually. Any of these will be fine. Go ahead, pick one to give to me. Pick one to give to me. I was actually hoping it wasn't that one of all of the options, but uh, we'll take it. I will create my robotic Karibo to insult the Pharaoh. Pussy. Activate White Stone of Legend, add Blue Eyes White Dragon to my hand. Then I'll trade in my Blue Eyes White Dragon for two cards off the top of my deck. I've already normal summoned. Ultimate Fusion, loser! I'll use my Blue Eyes White Drago in my White Stone of Legend in the graveyard to create my Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon who can attack, who can attack all of your monsters once each. Mirror Force, that'd be very bad if my card was affected by traps, loser. Get your 2005 ass deck out of my face. Go ahead, activate another mirror force. Embarrass yourself again. Goodbye. <laughs> Naruto. I just saw his name. Bro said, not the bio and got his ass beat. Now that's it. I'm, I'm looking up some Kaiba insults. I'd have more of a challenge playing solitaire. Quack, 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 quack. I'll send one blue eyes white dragon from my deck to the graveyard to special summon Dictator of D. Then I'll activate Dictator of D and discard my white stone of legend to special summon my blue eyes white dragon. Loser. Activating my white stone of legend and adding another blue eyes white dragon to my hand. Then I'll play my Melody of the Awakening Dragon. I could bring out Obelisk right away. <laughs> then I'll banish my Soul Energy Max from my graveyard to grab my Obelisk the Tormentor and I'll normal summon by tributing all three of my cards. It's not a monster, it's a God, Obelisk the Tormentor. Then I'll play my White Stone of Legend again and I'll turn it into a, a Link Karibo. Don't have Nibiru, you ugly idiot. Then I'll get my last Blue Eyes and add it to the hand and I'll end my turn. Beat that, loser. What a Kaiba ass turn, man. We went through all three blue eyes, tributed blue eyes, four obelisk. Come on, man. Come on, man. How you gonna beat that? Don't play a kaiju. But how you gonna beat that? Don't play evenly matched. But how you gonna beat that? Huh? An? You think all these back row cards are gonna scare me? All you're doing is making a fool of yourself. What are you gonna grab out of my grave? And you better keep your filthy mitts off of my blue eyes white dragon. My alternative music listening, Blue Eyes. You're making a mistake. You can't control the bower of my Blue Eyes. You can't target Obelisk, by the way. You've activated my jet in the grave. In the hand. Special summon to the field, loser. Uh... Ain't no way he's gonna use obelisk effect to blow up the entire field isn't he then you can't attack that is the right move oh he's not doing it thank god he's not doing it jet activate no i can't target obelisk but i can return this back to my hand now you can't link it away because you don't have any monsters give my card back you pathetic whore <laughs> Give it back and don't ever place your filthy mitts on a god again. I draw. Perfect. Melody of the Awakening Dragon, I discard. What are the odds he has Mirror Force? <laughs> if that's the best you can do, you might as well just surrender. I banish my White Stone of Legend and my Dictator of D to call forth my Chaos Emperor Dragon. All right, I'm getting real sick of you, partner. I'm getting real sick of you, partner. And it goes back to the deck? For why? Obelisk Fist of Fate! Ah! You could Sharen. You think your set card is gonna save you? Did you forget what you returned to my hand, you doofus? My alternative. Activate alternative. Destroy your face down card. Jet activates in the grave. There's nothing you can do. But watch as I dominate you. <laughs> 
Ah, I haven't even begun to scratch the itch. Where's the Pharaoh? Where is he? The Awakening Dragon do not have Ash Blossom. I send away my jet and I grab both my Blue Eyes White Dragon and my Alternative White Dragon. You think your trap-centric deck can beat me? I draw. You better hope you don't get two fiends out at the same time because I got something for you, partner. I think the way this resolves is one gets returned to the hand before I can actually use Super Poly. Yes, that is the case. How will it work? Oh wait, if you destroy one of my cards, you'll only help me in the end because Jet will activate, so go ahead. That's the perfect card. You idiot. I activate super polymerization and I'll combine your two loser cards to create my Garura. Wings of resonant life. And I'll search out my blue eyes white dragon and jet might activate, but I think because of the chain, it won't. You could Sharen. Before you can resolve that, I'm gonna go ahead and activate my enemy controller. I'll tribute my Garura so I can draw a card and take your Fenrir, preventing you from searching any of your pathetic cards. Activate Garura, draw a card. This voice is starting to kill me, by the way. What do you mean you're gonna target one of my face down cards and banish to? I don't know what that voice was. Wait, I can just banish you face up now. Oh, hello. Oh no, I have to target and I can't target it right now. All right. Things just got dicey. My confidence is waning. Return it to the hand. You can't play it. You have to control no monsters, buddy. But now I know what's in your hand. I call upon Bingo Machine Go. Okay, 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 okay. I activate Bingo Machine Go. Damn, I wish I could just pick two. I ain't gonna lie. I'll pick these three, I guess. Please give me ultimate. Okay, true. I ain't well. All right, a set, and I will end my turn. That's all I can do. Oh, this is bad, because now he can just start popping the cards on the field. If only I just drew Obelisk, man. If I would have just drawn Obelisk. I think I'm just going to let these attacks go through. Ah, uh, I hate Labyrinth. Grr, grr, grr. I wish it would tell me which one it's going to be. Because, like, if it's on the field, I'm not activating this. Hopefully, he just hits one in the hand. All right, I'm going to activate this. I don't have a choice. Yeah, let's special summon, I guess. Special summon blue eyes. And then I just have to hope he tries to hit blue eyes instead of true light. Oh, he hit one in my hand. Okay. God, go away, man. Just go away. Oh, cool clock. He can just pick a card and then just activate it. What's he grabbing? Yep, that lets him play it the turn that it's set. And then he could just use Labyrinth, Labyrinth to destroy True Light, and then I lose. Oh, I'm gonna. You can't target them, but you can still destroy them. Bro, it should be like Eternal Soul where it's just unaffected. And Chaos Angel. Yep, that is game by 100 life points. I am angry. It's just crazy. Like the, the snowball effect Labyrinth has. Like you could stop so much of what they do. They just get like one card that like resolves correctly. And it's just, there's nothing you can do. Kai, but don't even be, don't even feel bad about that one. Like nobody even respects Labyrinth players or loves them. Like they, they have a loveless life. Every day they go to sleep unloved. So at the end of the day, who's really winning? Who's really losing? Bingo machine, go loser. I just need something I can discard. So we'll just hit these three. So I can use my trade in vanilla blue eyes. That works for me. I'll trade in my vanilla blue eyes for two cars off the top of my deck. Melody of the Awakening Dragon. I'll grab Chaos Max. Chaos Max wants to play today. Play White Stone of Ancients. And then go into my spirit, my very spirit of blue eyes, the blue eyes spirit dragon. Then I'll set one card face down and end my turn, loser. During the end phase, White Stone of Ancients activates and I'll call forth my jet. Beat that, loser. None of your cards can beat that, but if you play evenly matched, I will leave, don't worry. 
you don't even got to worry about that like <laughs> i'm gone you play evenly matched like <laughs> goodbye and this isn't even an overextension before people like evenly matched is fair because this uh overextension uh counter uh, i like to be able to have chance if uh if they're sure they're oh ho, ho, hold on i might shit on a pendulum deck because you can't even summon multiple you can only summon one at a time because of spirit you can only pendulum summon one at a time go ahead choose wisely enjoy your one card loser spellcaster by the way yeah <laughs> i knew that was gonna happen that is anti-pendulum right there that blue eyes spirit dragon and that is gonna do it for the kaiba stone tablet series season finale i know it's sad i know it's sad don't cry don't cry because if y'all cry then i'll go cry <laughs> but don't worry the Yu-Gi-Oh viewers of this channel. I have other Yu-Gi-Oh ideas, creative, unique Yu-Gi-Oh ideas that nobody on earth has ever thought of in their entire life, okay? So stay tuned for those. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna see them. But nevertheless, I appreciate you guys being on this journey with me. All 10 episodes were really fun to do. Uh, despite the ups and downs yeah don't sleep i got more ideas you're just gonna have to wait and see do i have 1 million subscribers yet because there's a big percentage of people who watch the Yu-Gi-Oh videos that aren't subscribed for some reason and i wish that wasn't the case change that for me nevertheless this has been stone tablet series signing off farewell